Hurry up. We're live. All right, we're live. Ooh, yeah, good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. What was the temperature when you got in here this morning? When you put the heat 58. On? Right, can we leave it at a, at a reasonable living temperature? Is that too much to ask? I'm paying for it, so I mean, is that, you know. It was on cool this morning, and then I noticed it was on cool, so I switched it to heat. So it should, should be kicking in shortly. It's 58 degrees in here. It'll be nice and cozy in a couple of hours. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, Gus is here. Coleman's here. Mike is here. See if he battles back after the performance the other day. Of course, we'll talk <laughs> about it. And uh, the great Stephen Rowe Robinson. Also, a hot appearance the other day. <laughs> what happened? Were you drunk? No, I wasn't. I don't understand. I was, what, what happened? You look well, weird. What's starts, going on with you? You look strange. I mean, it, it starts like, you know, five days before the call. Mm-hmm. Oh, at, a, at a bowling alley. Oh, I don't think you can really. I don't get so right there. Uh, the bowling so. alley wasn't that bad a scene. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> so I didn't did not sleep that night. Stayed up all night working, reporting. I, I know. Yeah, and you? I live like uh, like a five minute drive from where the car was found. You're blaming so was, this phone call. No, hold on. No, oh, no, I apologize. It's a, it's a long story. <laughs> Watch oh, yourself. Oh, okay. So uh, stayed up all night, basically at my computer with my gun staying away from windows sure very, very paranoid mm-hmm. um and then did not get a lot of sleep until he was found shot on tango down tango down yeah shot on sight this guy if you see him or no uh yeah absolutely yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. If, if, he, if he'd have come up into my house yeah 100 where do you where would you shoot him uh where would i shoot him yeah uh probably body shots i think is what you go for okay yeah in a okay. moment like that right yeah. okay okay uh and then decide need to need to bug out need to go out and uh, hang out in the woods right so wife and i took the camper van up to rangeley Sure, I know Rangely. Uh, we uh, weren't on Rangely Lake. We were on a pond near there. You and, were bugging uh, out. Bugging out. Yep. Just, you know, she took my phone away. Good. That's good. Un- unplugging, trying to relax. What was, something then, cra- what was something crazy that happened in that moment? If something crazy had happened yeah. in that moment, it was I was like beyond my ability to okay. deal with more Just Tapped news. out, yeah. Tapped out. Okay. Uh, and then go to bed in the camper van, and the, <laughs> the heat in the camper van had gelled because it's also diesel fuel. Okay. I hadn't been running the heater. Sure. So then I'm up all night trying to make the heat work in the Ooh, camper van. So it's like it's like me trying to make like the fi- exactly. thing that Justin gave me work. <laughs> Believe it or not, it, was, it worked. <laughs> it wound up working. Yeah. It was, it was a colder than this studio right Jesus. now. Jesus. Well, it's been colder uh, in here before. So not a lot of sleep. Get get home Sunday and just need to go to bed and uh, pump myself full of Benadryl and wake uh, up. Okay. The following morning, I decide, you know what? I could use some levity in my life. Some laughs. Yeah, I had, yeah. and I had this couple, couple of yucks. Fucking cut it in, you <laughs> son <laughs> of a bitch. <laughs> I, I, saw that, I saw that Instagram of him just bouncing in here, all smiles. Very like, happy. Fucking walk. No one's happier just, to, to do nothing than Cullen. I'll piss say me that. Off. Let's take him down a peg or two. Right. So I got my, you know, my comedic brain working, and I thought that oh, there was wow. some, kind of, uh, some kind of a joke with what a tragedy it, tragedy it is that he's back in studio. Uh, compared to recent That line never hit. really was clear as to the listener. No, it did not hit. Okay. Did okay. not hit. I just want to make sure you're okay. No, about a, a second in. Was uh, a Benadryl a factor? Uh, I think so. I mean, I was just underslept and uh, about a second in, I bombed. And then I heard Mike say, is this really him? And I started thinking. <laughs> so that, I thought. I was like, I was like <laughs> could I play this off? Like I'm just a minute <laughs> fan? Like could I back out? And I was like, fuck, I don't know Coleman well enough. He's going to throw me under the bus. My phone number's all so over there. What this. you're saying yeah. is if the state of Maine had done a better job protecting us from Robert Card, that call wouldn't have happened. Exactly. Okay. Okay. That's a, I think that's Great a reasonable tragedy. explanation. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. But th- there was a moment too where I go, are you t- like you're overtired? And you were like, oh, I've had plenty of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Very, <laughs> defensive. <laughs> Very defensive. Very <laughs> defensive. But I knew he was all right when this morning, he and I haven't chatted much yet, but he did lean into me and go, tough time for the Jews, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's, it's true. Not wrong. It's true. It's true. So what's going on, boys? Uh, not much. So right off the bat, we have some updates for tomorrow's show. Uh, we have a show them. Oh, we have a show them. Oh, good yes, God, right? yes, yes, yes. Um, so after we said potentially having Beanbag Ron in here, Beanbag Ron, he is now rehab Ron. Uh, he has checked into rehab. Oh, is that a lie or no? No. Oh. That, it, okay. He tweeted it like instantly after I re-messaged him and was okay. like, "Are you still good for tomorrow?" Okay. Boom. Rehab Ron. Okay. Yeah. That's. That's. I guess that's a good for him. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So where does sure. that leave us tomorrow? So. Potentially trunk tomorrow? No, nah, too early. Too, too early? early? Okay. Yeah. All right, let it build. No, we're not doing that. Um, so for now, then we still have Patrick Ford. Okay. Um, Jesus. <laughs> we'll try. Old reliable. This is depressing. No, he's the better he's get a, a second goat. then. Because he's the that's going to be our Why like were you so high on Patrick Ford? No, he's a good two days ago. You need, you need, you need someone else. But he's good. We need, yeah, trunk. You can't you don't play the trunk card that that. True. Early. What about Justin? Wasn't Justin supposed to be in? At a time? Yeah, but he's was that, was that tied he's to bonus salad. salad. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You heard Sorry. Rico yesterday. Yeah, that was foolish of me. Yeah, Tim from Ken called. Did you hear him call healthy debate? I did. Yeah. 
It was a good call. Rico had a good answer. Yeah, it's funny. When those calls come into Rico, it's like a guy who has to introduce like one of his high school friends yeah, to his college yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This is actually a guy. No, he's a good guy. He's okay. He's, a good he's, guy. Okay. he's safe. He's safe. He's one of us. He's yeah. a good fella. Yeah. You got to do one. Do you eat one bona salad or do you live in a jungle full of nothing but bona snakes? For thirty days and see if it can survive without eating one. What's a boner salad like? What is that? Consider? It's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I, think I actually think it's not a good question. It's to be very obvious. No, well, you've, you've got to clarify the terms of the debate. Well, well we, if you haven't heard this or not, hold on, now, Colin. Um, I think of it as one giant erection in the middle of a salad. This you know, is why some, it's yeah. a good question. Oh, so you no, think of like, it as a little tiny no, it's bone. The, it's, it's, you think it's, it's like a wedge salad. Though. Yeah, it's like, you know yeah. when you get the oh. big piece of chicken in the salad as opposed to like chopped up pieces oh, of chicken. I see. See, that's, I see. I'm thinking of the chopped up piece. You're thinking a salad I, with boner, I'm not thinking, a like, salad here's, made here's of Here's a bed boners. of lettuce right. and all the accoutrement as you want in there. <laughs> And then, bam, a big erect boner, right? In the, well, obviously, it's a boner. So this is why, bam, we, right this is why we need to clarify, though. Because no, I, was, I, know, I was thinking I, I, I salad just anything. filled with boners. It's like, like a noodle croutons, salad. like crouton yes, boners exactly. throughout. Yeah. Yeah. But how can a boner be that small? A boner is a big, thick well, boner. Man, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm putting put my on the table right now. <laughs> throbbing, my throbbing member. Boners come in all sizes. I guess, but I mean, uh, yeah, well, Rico answers it as only he can. Your former trivia teammate, Steve. I'm right. You Boston. got it, baby. You, you got to choose. Try to choose one. All right, bone. Not at snakes all. with a bo snakes with a boner or a boner salad. Or is the boner? <laughs> no, no, no. The, no. Why would snakes the with a boner? That's ridiculous, Rico. <laughs> that is a the jungle is full of nothing but boners, but you have to be there for 30 days. So you got to either eat one in 30 days to survive, or you just have one boner salad and you're done. For well, obviously, the, the answer is a boner salad. Uh, I mean, if you have to eat I, the boner in the jungle, yeah, anyway, you made it too, too easy. No, the question is, you do you live completely surrounded by boners? Like you can't move. You're like, like wedged in with boners in, in the jungle. Yeah. You're there, or you eat this boner salad. Interesting. And if you hear Rico, Rico's with me. If you hear his answer, go ahead. Dressing and lettuce. I could get through the boner salad. Yeah, what he's saying is he chops up in uh, little pieces. So he thinks. Brother. So he thinks it's a, already a big penis. Right. So he then chops it up. Is it He's a cooked boner? Yeah, I think of it as a cooked boner. Well done. Yeah. yeah, you can't eat. You can't eat. Uh, you can't eat. Well, I mean, beef carpaccio. Well, Carano has <laughs> obviously, <laughs> yeah, but, but you can't. And you Quinlan. Can, uh, and Quinlan. Yeah, you, you can't have a. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. If I had to give a guy a blowjob, but I want a little prepared before, a little seasoning on it, like a uh, like butter, like a movie theater, a little garlic yeah, oil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get one of those uh, like Domino's pot. Pockets like yeah, the, the yeah. Just, I would think, of course, right? Anything would enhance it. I guess, yeah. They're not, but I might be really into it. It's like <laughs> so really you get way too into it. Yeah. Like, whoa, whoa, the bat was for five minutes, Kirk. Yeah, Slow down. Shit I mean, on everything. Put a, yeah. <laughs> a lobster bib on. You put, you put movie butter on anything. I think it works. I think. That's gotta be, it's got to be real butter, not movie butter. That's just okay, like, let's hold on the debate, oil. Steve. Don't, don't, don't get too crazy. Uh, what's going on with you, Gus? Nothing too much. Had a good uh, day cutting clips yesterday, cleaning the house a bit. With not the when dogs. I needed it, though. It's not really what I'm talking no, about, Gus. But <laughs> your, your fucking job. I'm asking you to do clean the house. Good no, day. No, cutting I was, clips. I, 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 yeah, pretty I was, good. Lunch was not bad. <laughs> cutting clips. We got uh, got press passes for Comic Con this weekend for us too. Why? A uh, little tail end to the vlog. Okay. Ask some questions. Where, where is this? Uh, uh, Rhode Island. Rhode Island at the convention center. Oh, in Providence. Yeah. Okay. Who's gonna be there? Uh, Carl Weathers. I saw. He is. Yes. Can you book him for the show? Or I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna try talking to him. That, At least that, get a sound bite. That would you know? be try and see, try and get him on the show. That would be a tremendously okay. important moment in my life if you get Carl Weathers on the show. It's one of the 140 <laughs> like most important people in my life. I would say. All right. Did you yeah. hear his little pencil swoop? Is that what you did? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you locking him in as a guest? We're locking him in. You're, he's a lock. He's a lock. Okay. Good. That's on you if he doesn't. Wow. Play. You know who Carl Weathers is obviously. No. Apollo Creed. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. Arrested Development? You ever watch Arrested Development? No, no. He much. plays Carl Weathers on that show as well. Sorry, yeah. I was distracted. Is it just me or does Gus smile too much? He's a happy a lot. guy. A lot. That's why I like, Steve, you've been with you guys are, you guys I are like I like some smiles in the studio. <laughs> you know, I like joy. Brighten it you up. Guys are, you guys are all still in the sun in your eyes. Or you're, in the, you're in the honeymoon period. That's sun in your eye or Well, it's kind of coming back through my much. glasses, but there's nothing I can do about that. What, what can we do about that? Because it's, it's this time of day. Uh, yeah, we're pl I'm planning on that, Mike. How do you know that? What do you mean? How do you feel that sun in your eyes? Like, do you see I can it? See well, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like brighter. He was complaining yeah. last week. Uh, what was fucking it? One bitch, of the other man. Shows. He's a diva. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you're right. I'm fucking complaining. Mariah, Mariah fucking carried. I mentioned it once in four years. Is that why there's a petal of roses all the way to Mike's seat? Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. It's like Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Jesus, try to do a show. Ridiculous. God, 
I'm mixing the yuck once in a while with all your goddamn demands. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Water. Mike wants the sun removed from the sky. Is that what you're saying? I'm trying to make it happen. Well, yeah, I mean, look, he's, it's an important. Buy Mike Dunn. That's an important Thanks. thing. Just yes. maybe some blackout curtains. That's that's exactly what I was going to say. Planning on getting some of those. Maybe like even heavier blinds, if if you will, like wooden I will. blinds. Oh, okay. so this this should have been done three years ago. Yeah. It's on you, you're saying. <laughs> House is Steve built. It was just still, me over here before. That's why. Still no one solid, you know when you go to these old houses and you're like, this is still a solid house. This is still a, a workable, solid home. There's, a, there's some yeah. chips taken out of the wall. Looks like there's some shit been thrown there's around. A, yeah, I don't know what that's about. but <laughs> Cookies splattered <laughs> against the glass. It's true. It's got good true. bones, you're saying. I don't think I ever threw anything at you, did I? Uh, no, I don't think you did. Oh, see, there, there you go. Uh, who else is going to be there? Carl Weathers. Uh, let me pull up the official okay. list. That was the one that stuck out to me. Sure. Well, yeah. You could be this. like, hey, Carl, I know you're a big guy, golf guy, huh, Chubbs? Oh, you could do that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah get, him, get him that way. Uh, yeah. Anthony Daniels? Is that C-3PO? C-3PO, I believe, yeah. yeah. I thought he died or something recently. No, I had to. Not if sounds, be like, sounds like no. <laughs> 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 could be wrong. Um, or you could undertake a conspiracy. <laughs> Seth Green's going to be. It's kind of sad when these younger guys are Paul there. Abdul. Yeah. Oh, the lovely, lovely Miss Marissa Tomei. Seth Green's like into that world. Yeah, he he's, likes that. He's like a comic stuff. guy, right? Robot chicken. Marissa Tomei's going to be there, huh? Yeah. What is her? Oh, it's probably more Spider Man for that crowd, right? Uh, my cousin Vinny or. Uh, well, I'm, I'm aware of her credits, Coleman. I'm saying yeah. the people go. For the people. She was in an episode of Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, was she? Did she play herself? As the, a matter of uh, fact. The, but I'm saying for the comic crowd, I would say the Spider Man film. She's on yeah. A. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Katie. Seagull? Seagull. Seagull. Oh, yeah. yeah. On this, is a big, this is a big yeah. list. Yeah. Uh, Billy West. Billy West, sure, I could see that. Oh. Yeah. Logic, that he's a rapper. Or no? Robert Card, will he be there? Or no? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Carrie Ann Moss. Sure, from the Matrix. Charlie Hunnam. I don't know who that is. Evangeline Lilly. Yeah, from Lost. Oh, that's yeah. a good, that's a decent that's, crowd. Yeah. yeah, so. What has she been in since then, though? She's in the um, Ant-Man movies. Okay, yes. Yeah. Gus, would you make love to her if she was into it? Yeah, for the for the show you would <laughs> for do the that. Show. Okay, yeah. how about Carl Weathers? Of course. Okay, yeah, you have to do that. I have to do that one. I wonder if Carl Weathers is like, what the fuck? Like, why why did they have to kill me for in the rock? I could have been these Creed movies. Oh yeah, you know, like, he, he, kind of a bummer that Stallone killed him. Uh, what well, you know what? We'll say we'll save it for the episode. I like that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll it's do a good that. question. All right, so that's good. The guys are going to Comic Con for the show, but I think they just want to go to Comic Con. That's, that's what okay. I was going to ask. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I think I think it's a are good we, way. Are to we do expensing man on the this? Street. Are we expensing yeah. this? No, we, <laughs> we got uh, press passes. We have press passes. So you're going? Are you? I mean, that's like a. That's what time are you going? Are you going Sunday? Saturday. Saturday. What time? Right when we, it starts, probably ten yeah. nine. Didn't really talk about it yet. But probably easier just to stay up by Gus the night before, Coleman. <laughs> uh, that would be easy. I'll yeah. make the drive. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Closer. All right. I mean, the guest bedroom's open that night, right? It is. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Another. This was vintage Gus uh, before the show today where it was completely silent. No one was talking, and he just goes, ah, but am I going to be able to cancel that birthday party? <laughs> <laughs> and we're all like, what the fuck there's are you talking like, about? There's like a burgeoning, like, weird, out of nowhere Mike Gus feud. Oh, they, no, he, he hates me. It's oh, very Coleman's, real. It's Coleman, saw, Coleman saw it this Mike, morning. By the way, Mike just lit up like I've never seen him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to shoehorn. Someone else sees it. Somebody I was hoping to shoehorn this in. That, that <laughs> flat. This is not a feud I anticipated. Good. The, it's very real. No one's saying anything, and Gus didn't have his headphones on. No, no one spoke, uh -huh. and then Gus says something. He's all frustrated. No, I'm happy. I, I figured it out. Oh, you, right. fi you figured it's something also, out. Gus is like a nice guy. It's a very weird feud. Go ahead. Well, I didn't react. Yeah. Well, and should've. then Coleman laughed or something. He goes, Whoa, what's Mike saying there? One of the, well, no, Mike gave a one little of chuckle. fucking wise-ass comments. <laughs> it's a little chuckle, and then I laughed you because say? he laughed. Uh, I was just happy because I figured out we, it's not up today, but we have the technology to be able to show the pictures on the live stream now, too, of like if there's a video getting played. Oh, to, hold uh, on. Reference. One second. Say it again. Say it again. He, what he's trying to no, say no, is that no, he, no, did, I want, he, I want to say he did his job. I got you. I, I want to do a reaction like I've always <laughs> seen. I've never been able to do live. Go ahead. So when we are do, showing live videos, we'll have them on the TV for you. And now the viewers at home on YouTube can also see it. It's like Cronkite when they landed on the moon. You ever <laughs> seen that live? Where he takes his glass off and rubs his hands. He's so excited. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What a moment. What? what? He was very excited. I didn't react. By the way, if you ask me what he said, I have no idea. Yeah. You didn't react, but you reacted with one of your smart ass comments. No, he just no, went I like a. I assumed he did. Gus, he gave a little Gus, like. Huh. Gus, he definitely did. He texted me. Yeah. He you definitely did. This guy. Yeah. But then Gus <laughs> unloads on him and is just like, what are you oh, saying? what are you like saying? saying? What, what, do, you, what do you hate Mike? Mike? No, not at all. I love Mike. Okay. Why Mike.net? Uh, that's a bit much. Yeah. Yeah. Do you so, subscribe? I do. 
Yeah. I always thought that if I had another person back there, we would do live switching the cameras. Yep. Working on it. Working on it? Right. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Well, that would be good. You always thought that. I did. Okay. All right. These guys are doing all right. They are. Yeah, you we know, actually you know. got a switcher. So it's all, the, the pieces are here. We just need to actually put it together within the computer system. To gotcha. Have Perfect. it all set. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where's Josh in all of this? Is Josh here today? No, well, tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's Josh Friday. It's a Josh Friday. <laughs> it's a Josh Friday. <laughs> Josh is killing it lately. <laughs> Slaying pussy. Jesus. That's true. That's true. Uh, what else? Uh, so I received a text from the one and only Alex Bennett the other day. You did? Oh, yeah. Yes. not happy? Uh, that's what I thought She's going in. She's the chief in. operating officer, by the way, of that, of that company. No, I believe Jordan's the CEO, no? She's the CEO. Alex Correct. Is the CEO. I, I, or, you know what? I, wasn't she CFO? I, I apologize. CFO, perhaps. Maybe no, I that'd be chief financial officer. There's no money. Oh. I, I think she's the CEO. It's easy job. <laughs> like my friend Erica Nardini was a book coming out. Yes. Uh, and just to better get that... Get that voice ready because because <laughs> they were all loving it when he was doing that one. Um, uh, uh, okay, so Alex texted you. Yeah, so she started out hi at least five exclamation points. That seems right. Yeah. Separate text. The Graham episode airs Monday, as if I didn't know, and then eagerly awaiting. Right. Next time Kirk is in NYC, will you tell him I want to come chat with him? Separate text live. Ooh, they oh. like the juice. They got a little oh. bit of they got a little bit of buzz on social Kale's media. Kale's oldest time. <laughs> a little bit of buzz on social media. Yeah. The worm is going to turn in New York. <laughs> I would definitely go on that show live. Okay, as long as it is a uh, what you call it, Mike, a crossover episode. Yes. Oh, okay. It's going to yeah. be live yeah. in both places. Yeah, yeah. Well, no yes. one can pull the plug. Yeah. yeah. Text her back. Say yeah, sure. Okay, so she just means YouTube live or whatever. Okay, Coleman, the way Coleman phrased it to me, I thought it was like she wanted to do a live show with you of some kind. Oh, it, it sounded like just live. I don't know, based I would upon their live shows. Definitely do one of their live shows. <laughs> 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 that, that I would do. We also have a call coming in. Okay. Oh, I mean, there were more people in Magnolia, right? You couldn't there were definitely you, more. There were, more people, there were more people at the supermarket the night before. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't promote it that you were doing it. You no, had you to show go it. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, <laughs> we were, PFT and I at the uh, Surviving Bar Store were like, if we both got eliminated the first night, we were like, we're two of us are going to show up together. <laughs> it, that, how random would it be, be two great. of us? Who, people that we don't even know each other. Right yeah, next yeah, to yeah. Kim and Pete. Yeah, we were just going to sit there and not even, like, not even talk to anybody, not even break character and just watch the whole thing. The pilot is in the audience. <laughs> yeah, which, is, which is very funny. Do you remember the live show we did down in Cape Cod for that guy? The, the guy. Cop? Yep. You remember it was like a, There were more people there. <laughs> there were more people there. One thing I remember about that day, it was right before the pandemic, right? Uh, uh, yeah. And it was, it was a maybe a little longer before that. Well, it was January. No, if you remember, it oh, was yeah, like okay. it was oddly yeah. like a eighty degree January day. Yeah, beautiful. Down the Cape. Day. Remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the guy was all right. He was okay. Yeah. yeah. He paid like five grand or something for us to do the show there. <laughs> he did. Jesus. And what's funny is like he wasn't an insane. He just quietly sat, enjoyed the program, and said, "All right, boys, see you later." He was. There wasn't. No, a lot it was of, very strange. <laughs> he bring anybody and, over and never tried to like bug us afterwards. Like, oh, I'm the guy. No. I'm the guy. Who no, I've heard word one from him. Oh, great man. Great man. We have a call. Yes, we have a call. Hello. Bro, it's GB, bro. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> there's, there's an issue, Graham, yeah. Bro, if, anybody, bro, if anybody's going to be on that show, it's going to be me over those two who is. I know we're the boys, too. You guys, you guys are funding trips to, to Comic-Con. What about funding trips for Domicon? We go out, take out some chicks, fucking send them over, show who's bought. Get me back on the trail. I thought you guys were my bros. You're right. No, you're Steve right. Robinson, Steve yeah. Robinson up in the woods. Got any fucking woods woman for me, bro? <laughs> Graham's looking to bounce Probably. back now. You know, Steve, I, well, I mean, Graham, I think you're right. So why don't you, would you be interested in joining me, Graham, when I do the show live with them? No, bro. I go first. Oh, oh! You want to see live show? You want to see live shows? You go through my hard drive. I'll show you some fucking. Live shows. <laughs> your, your hard drive, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, that seems reasonable, Graham. Graham, can I ask you one question? Sure. Would you rather have a boner salad, <laughs> or be in the jungle with boners for thirty days? I'd rather be in the jungle with boners because I'm in my surroundings. I'm fucking. I'm locked in. Like Cialis, bro. I put Cialis to shame ever since I left, bro. Ever since I've been wow, on the prowl, it's just bonus. It's bonus everywhere. It's like the fucking montage in Superbad. Just, just dicks everywhere, bro. I'm ready to rock. When you left, where did you leave? Old, young, fat, slow. Oh, I'm, so I'm, ready to go, bro. I'm ready to go, bro. I'll throw that dick, throw that dick all over the jungle. Are all combinations in play too? Like young and slow? Would that be a combination that you'd be open to? That's my fan. That's what he was with. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's my fourth I thought, man, thought maybe you'd say it, Mike. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, good. Well, Gramster, anytime, buddy. 
All right, pal. See you later. See you, buddy. There you go. Graham Bennett. Uh, okay. What else? So, yeah, congratulations, Steve. I thought you did a great job. With the shooting. Congratulations on all the murders. <laughs> yes. Yes. Congratulations on the murder. That. Yeah. Who's that? Whitney? <laughs> Whitney. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah it was a... Uh, it was a crazy time. I, f- I feel like we did a good job keeping people in the know. Yes. Uh, Nick, the, I mean, the story continues, frankly. The real uh, tragedy is people that listen to James Taylor sing last night. <laughs> yes. good James God. Taylor is not the, it's not the guy that I would bring in. Bruce did did they bring in at him in after the Boston Marathon bombing as well? Yeah, he's like the go-to. I actually really? like He's the go-to tragedy guy? Yeah, yeah. I like James Taylor. So I, I, I like I, James I, Taylor, too. No, but you I, know, like, nice. He did. Why are Lewiston and Auburn, is that who played? Yes. Why are they playing a football game on Wednesday night? Uh, is that the main? They, because they delayed it. Because oh, it was, it was supposed to be a week yeah, before. Oh, yeah, they delayed it. Yeah, they weren't tough. I mean, they weren't, the whole, the they weren't whole tough enough to play the week before. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I just wanted to. You know, it's, a, it's football. I mean, you know, the whole state shut. Bob down. Bob Knight coached the basketball team that would played that night. Boy, whatever. The whole state did shut down. Uh, yeah, especially the southern part. It's kind of crazy like, though. It, like, it was even it was even worse than COVID. Is it kind of weird? Like, I saw like, like restaurants in Kennebunk Port were closing down. This guy's not going to roll in the Kennebunk Port. Well, I think that there was a belief that if he was going to be found within. 5,000 feet of his car, he would have been found, you know, within yeah. three hours. Right. Uh, and when it got to 48 hours, it was like, okay, this guy was a master, a criminal mastermind, could be anywhere, what did I tell planning you? his next attack. I told you he was dead. You did. You did. Dead. Yeah. dead. These guys yeah. always... Well, you think... Well, Mike's guy, Adam Lanza, like, you know, these guys kill guy. themselves. You've always been a Lanza guy. I like the brother, actually. Yeah. I thought he had more potential. Yeah, he was a lot of personality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, cr- it's a crazy story. Well, I think we'll hear more about it going forward, Steve. I think we probably probably will. There was an interview that a, the a uh, colonel in the uh, Maine State Police did this morning mm-hmm. on WGAN, and it was <laughs> remarkable. Really? Oh, it was remarkable! That throwing everybody under the bus, saying, "How dare you, Monday morning quarterback us?" Oh, he's doing that. You know, we're doing tough stuff. It's and a they bad said, move. They, it's a bad you know, move. the host uh, asked him, "You know, why why didn't you bring in a canine unit?" Right. It was like, well, we decided we it was for the safety of our tactical teams. That we didn't bring in a dog. It was that's like, good. okay, well, what about three or four hours later? Yeah, it's not good. You know, it's not good. The entire state was terrified. There, are ki- I know kids that uh, didn't even want to leave their houses. Still terrified. So. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no, I, I, I understand. Although you want to get out of your house, I mean, Jesus, uh, yeah. Well, that's too bad. Now, I bet we're just quicker to lock down now. Like that's a I thought go-to the opposite thing. would be true. I thought the opposite. I thought. The, I mean, this one I understand because you're actually like the COVID. Obviously, was right. bullshit. But, like, this is, people are worried this guy's going to, like, fucking shoot you. So I, I yeah. actually intellectually understand that. Yeah, I, but different. that's what I mean. Not, I'm not talking about COVID. Like COVID, we won't lock down again, I don't right. think. But, like, in a situation well, I mean, like that where city. we don't know what's going on, it's easier to be like, all right, everyone, don't do anything. Because of COVID? Yeah, because yeah, we but don't. I don't even say pre-COVID, though, with stuff like this. Like, Boston shut down for a day. Yeah. yeah we, were a lot, we were fucking stuck in Brighton for four hours. Me and Dina were the fucking room. Really. But it was kind of the same thing where, you know, okay, they've pulled off this elaborate bombing. What else do they have up their sleeves? And when you get to the you know 24, 36 hour mark and he's not found, he doesn't go down in a, in a hail of gunfire, right. your mind starts to work. And then you're like, oh, they're bringing in the Coast Guard to look for him. Right. Oh, they've got, they've got Border Patrol planes looking right. for People him. People in Massachusetts, right. Yeah, you know, New Hampshire state police helicopters are all over the place. They're searching in Monmouth and Bangor. They're locking down everything. So it's like, okay, well, he could be anywhere. The police don't know where he is. Yeah. What's he planning next? Right, yeah, yeah. What and else? Oh, go. what's that? No, that's fine. Okay, well, you have something else you want to say? Go no, ahead, no, the floor no, is yours. No, no we, don't, we, don't need to, we don't need to talk more about Mass murder. Oh, I'm happy to. <laughs> <laughs> different, whatever, different whatever, podcast. whatever story Gus has next, I'm, I'm sure will be <laughs> just as important to society as, as this story. Gus, go ahead. Well, it looks like Coleman is uh, already has some potential people looking to poach him away from us. Ooh. Oh, oh see, that's an interesting it's story. Like, got interested. Mass clinic? Not interested. Not interested. Who's, no. who's interested in poaching you? My former podcast, Twisted History. Pardon? Ah. No. Oh. <laughs> Twisted History. Right. Coleman's trying to hire What's himself on, back. On, <laughs> Twisted History, the one with large? Yes. He's trying to poach you? Sounds like it, yeah. Where's this from? They just had their first episode back from, uh, it's been a couple months. It's the large last time and who? Large uh, Vibs and his wife. Yeah. Whose wife? Large's wife. Oh, the one that pretends he was a 9 11? Yes. <laughs> what? I don't, know, I don't know enough about it. She didn't die. I mean, you know, it's <laughs> like. No, I, she's actually very nice. I met her. Uh, for the first time at the 20th anniversary, I think. I yeah, she was there. Yeah, yeah. She's, very, she's actually very, she's very, very nice person. And Large and I are okay now, I think. Oh, good. Well, it, I feel like this is how an enemy is made. Well, we'll see what happens here. Is Large aware that you're producing the show? Yes. Yeah, I mean, he sent in a video for me to add into my video at Saco, so. Who did? Large. He, he was part of my video. I was going to the back. Uh, yeah, you, you <laughs> left. <for that. laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, I decided. Well, maybe if Colin put it in. 
Oh, it wasn't in? actually intended to uh, oh, yeah, that's show true, those. Too. That's true. Yeah, well, Colin Haynes busy going after people with no <laughs> If Will didn't bring it up, we would have never seen those, too. No question. No question. All right, let me hear this. The uh, booth come in and set this up, so uh, much appreciation to them. Coleman is – Coleman actually was fired – and then Coleman had put in Fired, yeah. for a <laughs> kind of like a temp job type thing, which he got. So he's back underneath the Barstool umbrella. Wait, what? I don't know if he does temp enough job. with the new gig, which I know he's, he's spending 100% of his uh, resources on. What? But I think if he does enough with the new gig, then maybe there's a shot where he comes back and does some stuff with us. At least we hope. <laughs> you know, he wasn't fired. What? Is, is he fucking around now? I, he's fucking around a little, so I don't know if the entire thing is him just joking, but oh, him right. saying like 100% of his resources, like I was pulled from their show because they didn't want to allocate producer Well, no resources. one listened to the show, right? It did well. Why they get rid of it? I have no idea. Okay. Yeah, your shows that do well, they usually get rid of. Yeah. I mean, Large has never had that experience before. <laughs> I'm sure he has <laughs> that same attention to detail to his historical <laughs> topics. Oh my God. Jeez. I, I actually like Large. I assume he's fucking around? A temp job. Uh, yeah, I didn't understand the temp job thing. What is he? Who told him that? I don't know. I have no idea where that could have possibly came from. So you have his number? Yeah. Well, call him up. Right. I like large. I don't understand this. Hmm. A temp job. Yeah. <laughs> you get paid like a temp, but that's just still it's a permanent <laughs> job. JC, what's up, large? Uh, you're live to tape on Kirk Minahan like show. Want me to call you up? What's large, up? How, how you doing, large? Good. Good. How are you? Good. We just played sound. For your, show, your show, Twisted History, is back. I'm happy to hear that. And you said that Thank Coleman you. took a temp job, and you're hoping to get him back. He has a full-time job as a producer of this program. Okay. <laughs> did, you think, did you think he was, he was hired as a temp? I'm just curious the, the, no, the, no, the no, flow of information. No, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I may have misspoke, but I thought that he was in the running with a couple other guys. Gotcha, still. gotcha, 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 gotcha. Like uh, like one guy, Augustus. I know he was going head to head. Uh, with, Augustus so is not... the uh, the two guys. Both Augustus is actually here. They both got they both got jobs. You see that? I you know what? I'm not aware of just how much money Kirk Minahan has. To <laughs> <around> <laughs> Trust I mean, me, you'll, I, you'll I, have to excuse me. I could, I, well, I, you know, I, I could stretch a dollar. Alaska, Are you where? Yeah, I'm up in Alaska blowing Eskimos for whale sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't Kirk sound, that is, sound so bad. Is handling fucking producers by the dozen. It must be nice, Kirk. Well, I'm stretching a dollar like you wouldn't believe. But no, I just wanted to make sure. So were you were you interested in hiring Coleman back if, if he wasn't? No, no, no. I, so I had said, oh, you know, no, Coleman was obviously just, I mean, I'm actually jealous that you got him because he's the great. kid is excellent. Yeah, he's and great. One of the things that he, and one of the things that he did, and I also think he has a good sense of humor, so he can put up with a lot of the, uh, right. I don't know if you know this, but sometimes there's some antics, right? There are actually, and, occasionally, um, yeah. Milkers. And he grew <laughs> he grew our uh, our our Instagram page, and uh, like pretty well. He was fantastic at it. So yeah. what I tried to stress there, because I didn't want him getting in trouble. Like, let's say all of a sudden that kid helped me put something up on uh, whatever. Right. So I was like, he's dedicating 100% of his resources. Gotcha. To, uh, to the new gig that way. And I didn't know whether or not you guys uh, had made it official yet or if you still, uh, if you put them through the ringer. So. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted you so to know. Now yeah, I know yeah. The yeah, 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 yeah. I know the scope now of your budget. and uh, You can have Augustus, and, uh, though. I will, hand, <laughs> I will drive Augustus to Alaska <laughs> if you want that. I'm happy to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. All right. uh, are you happy with the kids so far? He's doing great. No, he's, he's smart. He's trying. Like, you know, for the way this show works, like to jump in with no real institutional knowledge is different and the and the audience uh -huh. is not always super open to it but so far he can take a punch too which is as you know like i think the mo almost the most important thing right all right so then just no might as well throw the receipt away because i'm not taking them back Fuck all right you. well fine good enough all right all right <laughs> Lars, i'll talk to you see you buddy take care brother all right fa false alarm yeah uh, that was false cleared alarm. up bad reporting really in a lot of ways <laughs> yeah it shows he's in, he, was, he knew augustus's name which is weird yeah i think that shocked Video made waves, you know, and maybe that was. The oh, that's true. But yeah. did his name even in that? Is it because of the Mike stuff? Because he hates Mike. <laughs> <laughs> the, the big yeah. controversy. I don't know. The large is a big fan of mine. I think he's team. Uh, Always team has. Geary. Yeah. Oh, uh, Ryan Whitney is. I, I saw him in the video last night. I appreciate that. Yeah. The absolutely baffled biz next to him. Like, what the fuck are you <laughs> talking about? Right. Ryan, Ryan seems like a genuinely nice guy. Because the idea that I would be offended by that, like he's like, oh, I felt bad. I'm like, when he that was fine. Yeah. Well. Yeah. God damn it. Put like blind it's fucking it Mike. It, does hurt. it hurts a little bit it's when I weird, hear it. It's a weird, <laughs> it's a weird thing to wrong. say. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, where, where'd you hear that, Gus? 
That was uh, in the twisted uh, history. In the episode? twisted history. Yeah, yeah, that was. So you think yeah. if you didn't get this job, that you might you might have got that job? I don't really care though. I I, I understand that, Coleman. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not holding it against you. I'm just saying, do you, is it something that you would have then? You no, I don't. Done it. I don't. I don't think it's worth paying me to do that show though. You know what I mean? Like for me to just come know, in and do that. About it. It's just one podcast. Oh, once like, a week or. Yeah, or yeah. if that, like oh, they're really? just coming back, and it sounded like they may even just be doing once a month. Okay, so. I do. I actually like Large. I didn't like Willie Coleman. Large is cool, but Large is a pretty nice guy. I've talked to him a few times. He's 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 okay. Yeah, he's okay. A little he's, sensitive, but oh, is that right? <laughs> I think comparatively, to, well, he didn't. He, handle, I think he falls in like the Willie. He didn't, is he more sensitive than Willie? <laughs> they, they didn't handle the morning, but if you look at if you look at it from their perspective, five year whatever. I mean, I really was being a dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I can have your job if I want it. Like, why wouldn't they react like that? <laughs> I guess you would, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, I, at the time, I'm like, why are you guys such pussies? <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to take your fucking job. Well, the, I think the reason they were so sensitive about it is because there was an element of truth to it. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, they talked to me about it, but yeah. yeah. He was more than willing to suck that dick. <laughs> <laughs> Who, Willie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's true. Didn't he tell me he's going to he suck, suck a dick? Suck. Oh, yeah, he told you to suck <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I did think that call could have gone a different way when he was like, okay. Like he seemed annoyed. Yeah, I was like, "What's going on?" Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he's he's okay. He's all right. What else? Um, we have the Chris Broussard, uh retarded. Yeah, I don't like hearing that word. Day. That's not good. <laughs> you can't be saying that. It's just tough for your uh, bringing it back. Does this hurt it? I've already brought it back. Like uh, it's already established. <laughs> Chris Broussard didn't get the memo apparently. Well, he's got family members. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like. It's not a great word. Of course, it's not a great word. I don't advocate people using it normally. I'm bringing it back almost as sort of a, a test in a way. And I'm going to bring back another big one. I'm teasing it. All right. A big one on Black Friday. If you buy 1,200 <laughs> sweatshirts, <laughs> I'll say any word you want. You name it, I'll say it. Mike says it off the air all the time anyway. So sure. we'll Me just and say Steve it. and our car think, yes, <laughs> in our car. Your meetings? Yeah. I think the growth of the show might be a little retarded if you went through with that. Well, with like, hiring these guys, I would agree. <laughs> uh, so Chris Broussard is on ESPN. Uh, first things first. Oh, that's, I don't even know, where is that? Fox or something? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that's ESPN. All right. We have no idea. Does it really matter? There's no way to know. No. <laughs> He's not going to get to play the way he wants, and he's going to move. It's not going to work well. Nick, I think, I think he's not going to get to play the way he wants, and he's going to move. It's not going to work well. Nick, I think it's the man retarded. I mean, the development. That guy should be apologizing. Also, the other anchor on the side, he raises his eyebrow. Yeah, he's like, whoa, what do we have here? Well, watch your language, but continue. I'm about to go viral. Does ESPN not have a dump button? Yeah, it's Fox Sports 1. Yeah, Fox Sports 1? Fox Sports 1. Fox 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 doesn't have a dump button. Imagine getting so worked out about this topic that you say something you shouldn't say, though. Like, you, you <laughs> you're sorry about Paul George jo in November or October in the NBA. And then he comes back and apologizes. Or it says, what is he? I, I like the apology yeah. better. Russell Westbrook there and think that he's going to keep. Oh, shoot. 25 I, I, miles of Listen, I didn't know what you were going to say today. I'm, I'm shocked. This is not going to work. What, what's let, me, let me apologize for using that word. Oh, I, I have a. a I guess I didn't even cousin. mean that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He died a few months ago, a month or two ago. He was developmentally disabled, so I didn't. I, 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 <laughs> I know what plenty. Of, I know plenty of dead retards. <laughs> what, does even, what does that even mean? It sounds like the you know I got black friends argument. Like I, I, like I got the pass. I think you specify it was his first cousin. I'm like, all right, well then you're fine. I didn't realize that. But your yeah. second cousin, you can't. You directly. Can't say that's my mother's <laughs> brother. I'm basically retarded. Like, what do you want also me to say? He knows it's developmentally disabled is the politically correct term. But right, still reaches for the R word. <laughs> He's just gotten full and been like, you know what? I've actually been diagnosed as retarded. Just <laughs> <laughs> a full bit. I actually like, tried like looking through the Broussard family tree online to try and actually see oh, if there was any. There you go, Steve. That's good journalism. Any traction Hunting for that? a retard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what some this people call the producer three. search. This is season three, episode one. <laughs> Hunting for retards. It's nice to have that actually, Steve. Well, actually, was season one. If we're, if we're being it's nice to have Steve here for an, uh, an episode. We're going to have to come back later and record an apology. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go over. We'll, like we'll, we'll, we'll go over Framingham. <laughs> Chris Broussard actually is retarded. <laughs> we're, we're sorry. Well, so, you, any luck, Coleman? Or no? Uh, no, I I did find 
that he was based in like Louisiana, so I was kind of looking through theirs. Oh, cool. But if yeah. anything, it sounded more like it would be on his mother's side because nothing was really coming up with the Broussard name. So. Honestly, though, if you've been to Louisiana, it gets it's tough. tough. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's tough hunting. But I, Magnolia, too. It's pretty close. I was thinking, like, because he died, apparently. Recently, a month or two ago. Yeah, which I feel like if it was a month or two ago, you would kind of well, know exactly when. Oh. So that's what really, like... I had the same reaction. Colin, yeah. you're right. If you're so, that close to the guy, you know it exactly. was a month or two ago. So if you Target. if you find him, Coleman, work, mm -hmm. work me through the next steps. I don't you, know. You, you just nailed him. Call, I, 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 you want me to answer for you, Coleman? Give, give him a math quiz. No, very simple. <laughs> the guy's dead. Very simple. You oh, the body right. out. You do a testing. <laughs> <laughs> you say to him, "Do you like wrestling?" If he says yes, then you're like, "Okay, we have our answer." You put them back in. <laughs> not that, I've been playing these shows. It's not complicated. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> That'd be great. Coleman just an antagonizing some poor mother that lost her child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you Where say are the records? <laughs> okay, so we didn't do well in school, but I'm talking about the real thing. <laughs> Anybody can fail math. Test. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I, Quoting Michael Scott. <laughs> <as> he, <right. laughs> Jesus. Ay, ay, ay. So, uh,. Uh, what was your process that you did this? So you looked up his family answers? Looked up, looked up his family, looked up um, what his dad did, basically, for business, and then <laughs> tried to kind of, like, locate where that would be within the country. So it was, like, Louisiana, and okay. then right. his dad was worked for, like, Traveler's Agency or something. It was Broussard's dad. Yes. Okay. Um, so tried just kind of linking that all together, but, again, really wasn't coming up with anything. But you look up simple Broussard to see if maybe was that <laughs> <laughs> Louisiana retarded. <laughs> <laughs> nope, can't that's find him. That's Mike's you porn. <laughs> <laughs> it will be today. <laughs> I want to see what comes out. is that with X Koji at the end. <laughs> that's true. Uh, what else? Got a couple parody songs have come in. Is that true? Yeah. I've heard some of one, not the other. I wanted a okay. live reaction. Okay. Oh, by the way, we'll be joining us at uh, lunch and Milton's. Ah, that's too yeah. bad. Guess chill, what? chill. This kid, be, this kid will be all alone. <laughs> D Dad? <laughs> Idiot. Go ahead. You got your Callahan coffee there, Ironhead? <laughs> it is damn good, I have to say. It's dark, it's rich, it's bold. They like it. Proudly roasted in Waltham Mass. We ensure that you get On time, the freshest and highest yeah. quality coffee possible. I feel like he's about to do a top ten. Right to your door. Ooh, Callahan coffee, why not? 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 This is it? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. No, oh, all right. Next. No, that's just, I thought there was going to be just a weird... That's a weird one. It just seems like a promo for it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I guess one's better. Text from Jerry the other day. Oh, is that right? Hold on. What do you have to say? I uh, told me that I need a better agent because I should be all over the the nightly news. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, who watches cable news anymore? <laughs> he was like, I do. <laughs> Some guy had Newsmax is the next Tucker. Oh, Jesus. You know any good producers? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's been killing it with information during this. <laughs> retweet every false piece of information. The guy being a sex offender. The guy being in Massachusetts. <laughs> if it's fake, Jerry's got it. I think he even said Janet Mills was drunk at a press conference. I mean, he's getting everything involved. Yeah. Bobby Knight was fentanyl, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Prove it. What? <laughs> what was that, Jerry? What? Right, next song. I see the trains are rolling around the preschool class. There's this one little girl with such a fine ass. Oh I finally got the courage to go say something. She asked me what my name yep. was. Yeah. <laughs> I said it was just. Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah. When I was just a young boy, my grandma said to me, Justin, don't play with young girls. It's gonna look creepy. But I fucked a girl in Saco. Jesus. She <laughs> was four years old. No, this is not <laughs> very direct. This is not. This is not. And I just kept on coming. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God! God. Wait a minute! I'm not, I'm not a milf guy. I'm, I'm not a milf guy. I like I like the the younger amateur. I'm I'm into those like it's called X -O -G. I don't know. If, I don't know if you're familiar, but it's not. It stands for exploit little girl. She's like, oh, I'm so excited to do my first porn, and you know they bring her to a hotel room. They they interview her for a little bit. 
About ten years later, I got off on parole, managing a snack shack right off the 18th hole. <laughs> Began to go to a shrink to see what's wrong with me. He asked me about my past, told him about my grave. When I was just a young boy, my grandma said to me, Justin, don't play with young girls. You only play with me. She took all of my clothes off. Oh, Jesus and Christ. And turned me around. What is this song? <laughs> Buckled in that strap on. And then went. Good Lord. <laughs> that was <laughs> fucking <I> great. <laughs> Who was that? That was... Uh, Sammy Cash. Okay. Boy, sliding in before the top 40. Sliding Ooh. in. That's true. Sammy, I, yeah, I mean, I can't really, I can't advocate for that song. Subtlety was not, uh, no, I don't. Oh, <laughs> no, that, I, <laughs> was not implemented. I feel like the audio of Justin talking was edited a little bit, right? I think maybe. I think, yeah. I think you're on the <laughs> It doesn't help his case, I will say. We don't advocate for anything that was said in that. Uh, the Kirk Man show does not uh, disavow. Disavow. Oh, disavow. 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 Don't put that one on. Don't put that one on you, uh, Twitter, guys. I won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you? Uh, have fucking you crazy? Jesus Christ! Have you heard any of the AI generated music? <laughs> there's some. It sound- there was one that yesterday that was like Johnny Cash singing oh. uh, uh, Taylor Swift music. It sounds. It sounds unreal. Really? Like very, very realistic. Yeah. A yeah. lot of people. We use a couple AI uh, jingles, and it sounds. Exa- a lot of people have accused me of using Linda Marks. Which oh, I, really? I don't think it is, but it's hard to argue. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. I have a couple of the AI, AI Johnny Cash, if you want to. AI Johnny Cash. Okay, yeah. let's hear it. It's about little girls, isn't it? Hello, I'm not Johnny Cash. <laughs> So it's gonna be when forever. Justin was a young boy. <laughs> it's gonna go down in flames. You can tell me when it's over. If the high was worth the pain, I do love this. Got a long it's great. list of ex lovers. They'll tell you I'm insane. Cause you know like emo I love Johnny Cash. the players and you love the game. Cause we're young and we're reckless. That's <laughs> good. I'm into it. Doesn't have the same. It doesn't sound real. To but me. it's kind of crazy, though. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I think it's going to ruin a lot of the completely the, the music that doesn't have like emotion. Yeah, if you have it. no soul, you can humanity in general. Like it'll probably ruin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Well, no, we're t- we're taking care of that. The Biden administration put out an executive order this week. Uh, AI is going to be yeah. Uh, Joe Biden saw um, race um, mission impossible. Gender neutral. Saw mission impossible. Yeah. Was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I love the I love the clip of. <laughs> Biden's like, I'll look at a clip in, of me talking, and I'm like, when did I say that? <laughs> you know, this, this AI stuff is just getting out of control. There was a lot of kids uh, going as Biden with like two I saw security two guys, friends, yeah, like, bring him along and stuff. That's funny. Which, you know, <laughs> that's funny. Let the kid be X Men. You know, let the kid be Spider Man. I don't know. Politicizing your kids for a, a quick Twitter video. I don't yeah. know. Th- disavow. It's a world we live. Disavow. I felt like it was the kids maybe doing it on their own. That felt very like TikTok. Ten year old is doing that. Depends how it, old. I could see some kid like trying twelve to be years funny old like trying that. to like yeah. go viral on TikTok. I I can see oh it. man, if twelve year olds are trying to go viral on TikTok, they are. Oh, they are. They so definitely are. Already, we've already, we've already, we've already lost. China wins. Yeah. How was your first? Was your? Do you have a busy Halloween area or no? Uh, I had six trick or treaters. Okay. And my dog was a maniac. I was trying to put. I put. I put out little jack o' lanterns with candles in them. Yeah. Trying to be welcoming. So you must uh, have had. The, how many did you anticipate having? I had no idea because this is our first. I, I live on if a nice, nice little cul-de-sac. Yeah, the spitball. How many would you have thought? I, I, I thought I would have. You know, fifty. So then you have 44 copies of Mein Kampf that you have to get out <laughs> Learn Took a while before we got there. <laughs> I saw one lady was giving out two liter bottles of soda oh, to kids. Jesus Christ. Just, oh, oh, why would you do that? She's just trying to go she's, viral on social media. She's yeah. doing that so you will say Gimmicky. that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. to expect kids to carry it. That's a, yeah, that's a nuisance. <laughs> it's okay. fucked up. Oh, but that's, but that's, up that's part of why yeah. it goes viral is because people are like, Same oh. thing. I saw the thing where the guy had the bag of all the stuff and there were potato chips and like, you don't give out fucking potato chip. Just give out a piece of fucking candy for Christ's sake. Well, Portnoy well, was going off on uh, Silvana for buying like veggie chips or whatever. That's what she was giving away. Out. Yeah, he's like, this will not stand, and so he goes out buys the full size. Attaboy. Jesus, what was Christ. the worst thing you ever got trick or treating? <sighs> Toothbrush. Toothbrush is pretty bad. I remember yeah. getting pocket change once. <laughs> when the old man up the street gave me yeah. a hand job once. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, uh, I said worse, not best. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> Um, pencils. 
Ugh. Yeah, pencil suck. And that's you're just like, and they, those are also gonna like yeah, probably poke a hole in your candy bag. Yeah, and it's just not a. They were unsharpened even. I was like, what am I, what am I gonna do with this pencil? I have a million pencils in my house. Um, tooth. Yeah, you the. You, you always had that one guy. I was like toothbrush because you're gonna. like, I have a fucking yeah, toothbrush yeah, yeah. in my house. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dentist. I'm eight years old. <laughs> you're a dentist. You should be handing out king king size candy bars. You get the money. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Oh, how busy was it, Gus, at your house? Not busy at all. Five kids. Just the, just they were the, too scared to go out to the kids. door. It's a slow, no, day. It's it's a slow was, day for Gus. Yeah. Five kids. <laughs> I wasn't even home. I was at bowling. So there's only only the kids oh, in the neighborhood, and that was it. Sure. So that's a lot of extra candy for sure. us. That's good. That's good. Coleman, nobody at the apartment. That woman who runs laps didn't come by for candy? <laughs> no. no. Yeah, no one, no one. It was great. Okay. All right. I think the most dirtbag thing I ever did at Halloween was go with two pillowcases and tell people I was trick-or-treating for my sick sister. You did that Jesus one. Christ. Did that one. <laughs> two X, two X your candy. Did you clean up. I cleaned up. Oh, there you go. I got twice as much candy. There you go. What else is going on? Uh, so Robert De Niro was in court. I don't know if you heard about this. Mm. A uh, civil lawsuit. Um, the woman, I believe, was his ex assistant, uh, is suing him for sexual harassment. Charges. I read this story. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the one that stuck out to me was how she was using the back scratch argument. And he was basically like, listen, I only said it twice. If I have an itch, I got an itch. You got to scratch it. Right. He wanted her to scratch his back. Yeah. That's a little weird. That was a good De Niro. Though. feels like it could have been worse, though. If it's De Niro. That wasn't, that wasn't De Niro? <laughs> oh, that I, I De Niro here. He's <laughs> mixing dice play, yeah. <laughs> well, you probably shouldn't ask your female or male assistant to scratch your back. I, I, that's not, I, I think that's pretty reasonable. I guess if I just hear Robert De Niro sex assault, I'm thinking it's going to be more graphic. Worse yeah. than a back scratch. Yeah. yeah, That's true. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So what's going to... How much does she want? Uh, it's a... Six million dollar lawsuit Jeez. after she quit a three hundred thousand dollar a year job at the company. She's making three hundred thousand dollars a year. I'll tell you this: my friend, uh, my buddy Matt Quinn, years and years ago when he was living in L.A., interviewed for a De Niro assistant job. That's crazy. I just realized that twenty five years scratching ago. that back. He would have done it. That, yeah. that, that could have happened. He wound up turning it down. I think maybe he knew something. I think Steve would like De Niro's uh, latest project. Not Killers of the Flower Moon, but he's working on some documentary about like COVID or something. And he just put out a video recently where he's like, I had to change everything. I didn't like what I found. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I don't know what he discovered. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Yeah. There you go. Oh, man. Was I wrong about the early COVID response? Like there was a, there was some t a period of time where I was like, ah, maybe Fauci's not a complete. Yeah, like, you, you, the, you were like weirdly. On the other side, yeah. Of the you were like, I was you, trying to, I was after trying to stay away from that, like, like hid for like a week. I was you trying were very... to stay away from the conspiratorial impulse. Oh but... well, don't. I'm not interested in that either. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I mean, I'm totally down the rabbit hole now. Don't do that to yourself. Why? Life's too short. I was listening Edible. to Cooner on the way down here. Oh Jesus! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Honestly, Boston's bulldozer. <laughs> you you want to know how to generate calls for a right wing radio show? Cooner's going. Why do that? I can't. I can't even do Cooner. Hello, Cooner's my intercom yeah, yeah. reds. Yeah, there. He's, he's going into the break. He's like, he's like, the Jews or the Muslims? Who do you side with? Your calls after the break. It is not my feces on the wall on the second floor. I am insulted that you would drag me into your office, Phil. <laughs> Jerry Kirk, I love you guys. You guys got balls. Oh, thanks, Cooner. Hey, Cooner man. <laughs> I went on that show while I was doing this show at one point. It was um, Curtitone. Curtitone. Yeah. Oh. Curtitone. <laughs> There's like a bendance in there. He's the greatest. He should be a national figure of some. Yeah, how is he? He was going to be. He was going to be. We're in like the uh, sixth year of his uh, national syndication. It's oh. not happening yet. We, yeah, he's, he's working on he's, it. Oh, he's actually syndicated or no? He, he announced uh, plans for national ah, syndication. Six years ago? Maybe seven. It's a process. <laughs> it doesn't, yeah, it's okay. not overnight. I mean, what can you expect? Yeah. So that's funny. Nice guy. <sighs> crazy, crazy. He's like a... People, oh, people are listening. He knows his audience, though. He does. There's, I, I'm shocked at the number of straight-laced people who I, I encounter who are like, oh, I'm a big Cooner fan. I'm like... It's actually entertaining, though. Even, even like it's dumb. Yeah, it's like funny to yeah. listen to. It's just funny to listen to for like 10 minutes. And then it's like, I can't. You know, even when you used to be at the station, I'd be like, all right, I, I got to get out of here. My favorite prize to hand out was we had, uh, for RKO events, stress balls, but they were in the shape of little bulldozers. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite Cooner moment was I, I had jury duty when the Golden Showers dossier came out. Oh, big, big game Kirk and Callan history, too, yeah. So... As I'm driving back out, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And Cooner takes a phone call from some guy who claims to have 
invented the entire dossier on 4chan or Reddit or something, right. and then passed it off as legitimate. And so he thinks he's got this big expose that it's, you know, again, it wasn't real, but right. he just does this whole show yeah, yeah, about yeah. how he's got the guy who says he created the dossier and then never talks about it again. The big controversy like, for, <laughs> for us that day, I remember this, was we couldn't use the phrase golden showers. Oh, well, that's, It was that's a big tough. radio issue. Really? That's tough. Whose really? decision was that? Some idiot. I don't know. But we kept saying, like, we can't say golden showers. We can't say it. And they'd be like, no, you can't say it. So I'm like, you can't say golden showers. And we'd be like three. And then eventually we just said it. But it's so dumb. You can't say it. So I can say, I can say uh, the hooker urinated on. Right. Supposedly, it's dumb. But right. It's more graphic to, yeah. to say what Jeez. it is. I've always found it so weird. I've heard what about rusty trombone. <laughs> <laughs> I, think we could, I think we could say that. It was weird. <laughs> well, who's are these? Just company rules or FCC or uh, who's, who's not? FCC. Who's making these? Definitely not, not FCC. FCC. Yeah. That, was, that was my argument. It was like this is this is made up. Probably our somebody. I think it was in the middle of the merchant stuff. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they were just worried about anything because I was like. This is like, that was my point. I think I said this. Like, do you want me to say the woman pissed on the fucking guy? Like, I, don't, <laughs> I remember. Or did he piss on her allegedly? Uh, I think he hired them to give golden showers to each other. Oh, interesting. Right? I don't, I don't. The Again, thing was, it was, on, it, was on a, it was on a bed that supposedly right, Michelle and Obama had, right, right. had rented. Right. And so the entire thing was he wanted to I don't get Obama. the, that's one kink I'm not. Coleman's kinky guy. But I'm not down no, with the Never the he, no. Nah. P P P P P P no. At, no. No piss. No, no piss. No. The thing is, like, if you urinate, it's a tremendous amount of volume, too. Like, you can really... Then what do you do? You piss all over you. I guess you shower. Yeah, Af but it, on a bed, right? though? But, like... like do, you get a, do you go get a new hotel like, room after a hooker? Oh, I assume they all, all lay down the proper... If there's somebody uh, right now who's watching who's into it, legitimately call it because I want it to. Because I've never understood... Does it... So if a woman pisses on you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it get you to ejaculate at that moment? Or... Because then, like, do you fuck after that with piss all over I think you? it's more of, like, a dom thing. Like, it's a dominating. Uh, you know, I know that, but, like, kink. So you don't. So you jerk off You're dominating so that. much that you can't yeah. even. They won't even let you ejaculate? No, they're like, they're, 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 they're dominating. Because will be there and Bill. <laughs> it's probably better for the Bill. <laughs> but, like, I, I don't. I don't. What, so what are you saying, Steve? I, I think what, what uh, Coleman Almost was it. saying is that the, you're, yeah, you're, peeing like, on, uh, you're peeing on them to dominate them. Yeah. And they just it's probably like a, but they want to be dominated though, right? But maybe you're also like building up piss over the course of a day. That's what I'm saying. So it's like a long, it's like you form that day, you were, you were at Gus's house. Yeah, <laughs> you gave it some massive built amount up. Of, of, of of urine, yeah. which would be. Uh, have either of you guys peed in a bottle back there yet? No. Yes. So we <laughs> <Yeah>. did. <laughs> <laughs> a little what? disagree. No, we here. we talked about this. <laughs> what on you, the show that I try peeing in bottles, but not I here always, though. No, Steve peed. This is like oh, no, back, back, actually back there, actually back here. No, have not. Steve looked me dead in the eye like we right now he'd just be pissing away in the <laughs> we never knew well now we no. have the producer cam so uh unless people want to oh we had show. a producer cam that's oh, true right. <laughs> did we at the time yeah i think so oh yeah probably so producer um, cam sodas we should have had that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go um but yeah right, what else i, I don't understand hey, I don't, that one i don't get i didn't meant to say this with the previous discussion but the one the word that i always noticed is on 98.5 felger always talked about this they couldn't say scumbag Really? Could you guys I, say I, that? I've had issues with that before. Yeah. Really? Oh, Why? Yeah. Scum because it, because what it, a scumbag actually is is a used condom. <laughs> oh, really? That's their oh, reasoning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because douchebag, we could say. Yeah. Wouldn't you think it would just be comebag though? That we couldn't say. Well, Coleman, take it up with the people at Beasley <laughs> Media. <laughs> Call the FCC. We, Drop we, the S. We actually requested your FCC files, like all the complaints That's right. you ever had. It's all Murchison ones, right? Uh, no, it w well, they might have been sure submitted some by Murchison. Some old codgers. They, they were some good ones. They were yeah. all they were all like you calling Curtis a fat asshole or so. Right, because like they would hear yeah. it. They would hear it on the stream or something. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes I'd be in a bad mood and I just want the show to be over. And I'd be like, what the fuck are we fucking doing here? Because I make sure the producers were listening and like people would flip out on the text. Just like up oh, their text and the way it got on the radio. <laughs> you can hear it in the stream too, Jerry. Anyway, what else? Um, so Cullinane uh, has discovered TikTok apparently. Yeah, he's a star. He sure <laughs> has. Uh, it's so almost like he should have worked this hard when he had a job. <laughs> it's very weird. Um, but he did have the TikTok breaking down the WEI stuff. But then also he's been doing lives right. where these random people are joining in. With him, I don't know if you caught. The, I saw the armless guy. The armless yeah. guy. Yeah. There was another one this morning. Um, I didn't see that. Some random black guy. You get rich off this? We don't monetize here. No, on, on I'm internet. telling you. I'm telling you. Yeah. First of all, you can't say somebody's trying to get rich off of this because if you say there acting like you get the podcast, you damn sure ain't doing it for free. You just dominated <laughs> me. Can you give me a hit right now? This song's about to end. Can you give me a song to play? Can, can you I'll hear play my? Whatever you want. Actually, chat. Can you Actually, hear chat. This? What they want? 
This guy is just absolutely dominating me on this thing. God, what do you want How are these people finding color? I don't, know. You know, I don't, I don't think he has it set it up right. Are you guys old enough to remember chat roulette? Oh, yeah. Yes. That's what this it reminds me of. Like it seems like that. It reminds like he's doing oh, chat roulette. Right. So basically, he goes live, and then if anyone else is live, since he has his live set up to public, you can request to go in, and then he just accepts it, and this ensues. I feel like Gus was big into chat roulette. You know, his I mother, saying, his chat, mother. Chat, <laughs> yeah. That's chat, perfect. He's the perfect so, age for it. Yeah, yeah, well, so. While Colleen's doing this, his mother is watching his fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it's unfucking believable Going to work, ma. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Idiot. I wonder if the parents know he doesn't work here anymore. I don't think so. I don't think he told anybody. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think he's milking that three grand for like a year. He's just going <laughs> to... Off I go. Move. <laughs> wild move. <laughs> I, I, I actually wanted to text Erica and just be like, hey, I got some expense reports. Where should I send those? Sure. <laughs> I mean, really? At this point, why not? So I, a couple I of 45 rounds. I just a text message and, from a P guy. From a oh, P guy? I received a message as well. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same, same person. Text it's message. probably the same person. From, right. from your yes. phone? Yeah. Who? Oh, John, John from Scranton? Scranton? No, that's like, oh. that's like fake, though. Right? Why is no? that? No, he's trying I can to see be him like, some yeah, weird Well, the way he's been talking lately, he's been giving threesome advice and <laughs> oh, yeah? and oh. peace stories. So. Okay, there you go. He's a wild man. What else? <laughs> His video for Sokka was good. It was very good. Really yeah, nice. no, I like John. What else? Um, so I saw Cons was going back, not back and forth, but he was just tweeting into the uh, universe trying to get you to respond to his oh, album take the yesterday. Worst, the worst on Twitter. Cons is the fucking worst. Like I said, John Hinckley's better on Twitter. <laughs> I, fucking the worst. Nice guy. Absolute suck fest on social media. Hinckley's a little bit of self, uh, self-promoter, though. Yeah. He's, he's not point. Hey, Hinkley ain't perfect either. <laughs> the guy's an not artist. He's got, he's, he's, you know, he's, oh, he's got, you gotta sell records. I go, I, we should go to one. We should do a live show at one of his shows. That'd be great. Uh, have him do, Support. have him be a musical act. Have him come on with no exit four. I thought there was a chance you're wearing the sweatshirt. I was like, we have a lot of fans up there. I was like, this fucking shooter has a Kirkman Hincho sweatshirt on. I would have paid him to have a blind mic. Yeah, that's That'd different. be great. Yeah. I love it. That's what I'm saying. You guys yeah. are bad boys. For all He's got uh, <laughs> two short beyond average. Yeah. Yeah. Cut off going. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still, that I'm, made more sense. I'm still working on the crime scene photos. So we'll uh, we'll get the fo- good. pictures okay. in the yeah. back oh, of the good. trailer. We'll yeah. see. I'm a corporate guy. I can't have that. BlindMike.net. That's different. Those guys are wild. Quincy jacket on. <laughs> uh, uh, cons was what? Uh, he was just tweeting at you, trying to get you to respond to his uh, yeah, album. We've take, done the Springsteen basically. thing thirty million times. At cons. <laughs> what do you want me to say? We both like Springsteen. I know more than you do about Bruce Springsteen. So what? Enjoy the music. He likes Born to Run. We'll get, we'll get, it, get, we'll get jackets made. That's a fucking <laughs> wow. We like Bruce Springsteen. We're in a really small group. The guy plays fucking football stadiums. He sold seven hundred billion fucking records. So what do you want me to say? Was that a pretty much Con's question? What was his question? Can I answer that? <laughs> Uh, that was basically. I mean, I like it, cons, but I mean, like, what? You know. get the uh, specific on it. But also, someone replied to him. Uh, you I still like uh, Riggs. I'm sorry. Before I no, say, no, cause no, it made good. me think of Whitney mentioned cons yesterday. Uh, Riggs and I kept because this is kind of around when he first said it. Riggs and I would talk about it at the Ryder Cup thing. I just like Whitney walking out of Oppenheimer, being like, "Wow." <laughs> My mind, like everything in my life has changed now. Like he's had this experience <laughs> good, with Oppenheimer. It's a good thing you didn't get any spoiler alerts. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was, he was overwhelmed by it. He's like, it was is, this, is, this, is this thing really going to work? <laughs> he meets a Japanese person. He's like, how are you here? <laughs> Stunned. <laughs> uh, what did Khan say? Uh, so someone replied to him saying, you alternate between being one of the most likable guys at Barstool to being Captain Khan's impressive range. And so then he quote tweeted that and said, what the heck is this? See what you started at Kirkman at Ryan Whitney. What the heck? About oh, Whitney? Exactly. Oh, so he heard the, sh- he heard the show. <laughs> oh. yeah. But like what from that even... Khan's the kind of guy. Warrants that. I saw you a tweet yesterday. Let me see if I, I think I know this. Let me see here. He does a lot of this. My advice is to be stop doing this. Um, uh, my friend Kelly Keegs had a tweet. Uh, Mariah Carey is officially thought out for Christmas as a blog post. Oh, yeah. It personally, I think she's jumping the gun. Fine, whatever. Who cares? Khan's quote tweets him and says, I was going to blog this topic, but Kelly Keegs basically said what I think. If you want two months of Christmas, God bless. I just think by keeping Christmas in December it maintains this up. Shut the fuck up. Like, who I'm cares? glad you get a real thought. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck? And then he replies to his own tweet, absence makes the heart grow fonder. So that tweet just right like there? Football. Yeah. It just doesn't stop. Like, just like football, shit? if you have something all the time or for an extended period of time, it only waters down the season. Well, Mariah Carey and her fans, I don't know if she has any, her fans can go fuck themselves, right, Mike? D- damn shit, right? right? Yeah, <laughs> Lamley, come at yeah, me. Yeah, Lamley. I fucking dare you. Was that Clemmer? Clemmer and Karana. Karana, that's right. Yeah. That's right. They were crazy, that crowd. 
They were, I guess, but I always thought it was weird. And I wasn't reading all the messages they got. I thought it was weird how Carano and Clemmer reacted. Well, that's them, though. That's like... Because it was... I would think it would be like, good. I'd be using it to promote my podcast. I think. I'm not... Again, I'm not seeing the threats that they they're got both, or whatever. But. but they're both afraid. I saw Clemmer respond like KMS quote six. The, the, me saying the other day that Clemmer's afraid, this fear in my, his voice when he talks about me. And he yeah. That's kind of jarring for me. Yeah. <laughs> He responded to that. He's like, it's not fear so much, but just, and he gives us long hands. I'm like, Chris, just leave it alone, man. You got the job. It's fine. I could use, I could use an inspirational quotes from cons. Just like a little booklet based on that advice about Be absence. Nice. Absence yeah. makes the heart go fall. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, oh, Home is actually where the heart is, as a matter of fact. Um, <laughs> the best book that Barstool's ever published. I mean, so far you got, you got, the, you got the beverage oh. book and you got a... Erica's book, uh, I'm like, uh, you know. <laughs> this reminds me. I'm glad Steve. Which did. I hope sells well. I, you know, I like Erica. <laughs> My grandparents called me a couple weeks ago and said, uh, like, when were you going to tell us? And I go, the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. They go, uh, our friend sent us the link to the big news. The big and news? I was like, I have no idea what this is about. They said Barstool's publishing your book. Oh God! <laughs> 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 the, Steve, the, the Steve Robinson book of Bly Mike. I said what? And I and then I try, I was like, oh no, that's from a long time. I go, that's actually a joke. And my grandfather kept saying, I gotta tell you, the author of this, he's a good writer, and he seems to like you. <laughs> he's like, well, I'll see if he's still interested in the idea. At least but, half of that is true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, what's your grandfather doing yeah. here? <laughs> Wow, I forgot very, about that one. Very excited, yeah. Hmm. Um, I did find the initial Khan's tweet. Uh, basically, he said, we discussed starting a record collection, and we each picked three albums to start our collection. Mine were Border, Born to Run, Under the Table, How and excited, Dreaming, by the way, the 59 sound. Hearing this tweet from Khan's, how excited would Bruce R.B. to find his cousin's actually alive? <laughs> tweeting his Captain Khan's. That's great news. I thought he was dead, <laughs> but he's actually alive. Well, that's great, Khan's. My favorite albums, Jesus. I did enjoy. Uh, I thought some of Mutt's impression was uh, of Coleman was lackluster, but I enjoyed. Uh, Fights has a tweet about soup. Very funny. <laughs> that was, like, that was, that was very, very good. Funny. <laughs> You're down on Mutt's impression overall, though. Well, he he oh, he he hit the uh, the two words he kept saying like big, a, what, a limited, what's popping, but, yeah, but then that was it. Bro. 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 That's it. That was it. That was all he had. Um, Mutt got the one thing he didn't want. Uh, yesterday, it was show yesterday, two days ago, two days ago. Two, two days, days ago. ago. He and I walked in at the same time, so he saw me. He was walking, <laughs> he had the second Coleman shirt. He like looked embarrassed. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, what do you mean? He's like, then he went into it. He's like, oh, hey, what's up, bro? I'm like, oh, what's podding? I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I get you. Chill, I chill. You. Uh, yeah, what's up? <laughs> what else? What do you got, Gus? Uh, Eric, as you kind of touched on, Erica's coming out with a, her new book. Uh huh. Got a. I nice... said it like three different times. I know, but we. Well, <laughs> I wow. think I take that as a hint that we're going to talk about it because she did release a video to go along with I it. take that as a hint that he, he's passed it. Ooh. Who's right? <laughs> oh, we'll share the video. <laughs> Dude, do you two hey, hate each other now? What's going on? Why does everyone hate Gus? What's going on here? Gus has a way about him. What are you hating him for, uh, Coleman? Nothing. Uh-oh, what's going on? <laughs> Nothing. I no, have no, no clue. I'm, on, I'm not interested in one more answers. Right. What's going on? There, there's legitimately, legitimately nothing. I just think that, you know. If, if, if I may. If we talked about it. Yeah, go ahead. I think there's a lot of me, me, me from Gus oh. and a lot more the show, the show, the show from Coleman. Is that accurate, Coleman, or no? I mean, listen, I'm trying to cut clips last night. He won't oh, yeah, answer what happened? me. I Ooh. saw this tweet. What was going on? I was asleep. I was in bed at 9.45 last night. Yeah, but it's 9.45? Yeah. Why? Wake up early. What time did you wake up? 2? 4.30? <laughs> so you go to bed at like 8? Yeah, I've accomplished everything. <laughs> My day is done. Yeah, you work for me. I, don't give a I do. That's how it works, Mike. When you well, work, I, I think Conan would go to bed at like nine too. Yeah, but Conan was a zero. Like we established <laughs> good, that. You're like, saying these aren't good comparisons. Yeah, great. Okay. I mean, okay. Like you know. So you, so Coleman needed you to help him out. You weren't there for him. He just asked for a picture. I was asleep. Didn't have it, but Meta fans came through, stepped up, got a great picture. Well, that's not their job. It's I know it's job. not. It's my job. Was that disappointing, Coleman? It was a little bit, yeah. What would you need? I needed a picture of Steve in the dead Stella shirt. We were, I was putting oh, together a Halloween the, clip. From the cornhole thing. Yeah. I saw that tweet. Okay. Show okay. the side by side. Okay. What's your Eric, I suppose? She has a book coming out <laughs> next June. She like to a- change industries, but I would need to take a pay cut to start. Any advice? I think a great was way a to make a change is to what jump she's been to She does her one-on-one one first and then drops the book uh, announcement. And sometimes that comes at a cost, and that cost could be a pay cut. 
I've taken two massive pay cuts in my career. It took me years to work my way back to making the same money I made in the first place, but it taught me so much more. I got so much more experience. I gained so much more knowledge. And what, 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 so where's the book in that? What the fuck are we doing? So it's called Nobody Cares About Your Career. Okay. Why Failure is Good, The Great Ones Play Hurt and other hard truths. I think it's pretty. Here's what it's going to look like. I love the yellow. Well, I'm, I, I saw the cover of it. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't squash your announcement. We just made it right there. What do you, <laughs> 40 seconds before on something about, I don't know, like taking a pay cut, how you should take a pay cut. Uh, no, I hope it does well. Like it's, that is not my, that's not my world. Like these, like business, you know. I'm aware. What do you mean? Why do you say that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. but like these books where it's like, you know, be a bad, I'm just yeah. like, whatever. Like if that, that's what you're into. Kurt, we call him. What's that? Capitalist Kurt, we call it. <laughs> it's kind of like that, I don't know, like that Gary V world, you know, where I'm just like, it's just not, it's not. Well, they me. like him there. Yeah. Actually, she could be new Gary V. Gary She, we'll call her. How's that? Does that work? <laughs> I like that. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I don't branding. know. branding. Yeah, there you go. Like, I don't, the people who get really hyped about corporate life. It's and, like, you know, you yeah. and stuff like that is like Brady. Like he like likes books. Oh, like, for sure. Stuff, stuff like that freaks me. I get, it feels Scientologist to me. I don't know. Yeah. But Eric is, you know, Eric is not a big fan of mine anymore, but I, she's been, Great to me, so I hope the book does well. I will buy a copy. You seem down on her as well. Yeah, I don't think things are great, but that's okay. I, she's been great to me when I've needed it, when I'm in trouble. She's been there for me, so I will buy a copy of that book. I probably, I won't read it, but I'll buy a copy. I, I, books like that, I just don't. That's not something I. It's probably mostly for. It feels like it's more for women. I just think it's just mm -hmm. a general like business kind of. Get, I think a good book for someone just graduating. That from was college. weird. It's in the New York Post yesterday. The story I read the story. And the book comes out next June. Oh, really? So that's yeah, a, I think, well, that's I think, I think people, we've learned the New York Post likes writing about Barstool, I think, in general. That's true. That's true. I think that's how people uh, hype books these days. Like, yeah, but who the hell the fuck's going to remember that four months from now? Well, then there's, there's going to be more New the York train Post. train starts. You know, yeah, I guess. The other stuff that's included in it. I suppose. Well, anyway, we wish her, obviously wish her well. How often does she quote, let them wear towels? Because Joey question. DeCaro <laughs> taught me that. That's what you do to motivate women. It'd be tough for Justin. I think he can do it. I think he can do it. <laughs> that, I suspect this will be a tougher read than Julie DeCaro's book. Probably so. Yeah. It'll probably ba, ba, be... Ba, 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 ba. I mean, meaning as far as uh, language. It'll know. be written at a higher grade level, that, that's for what sure. I, that's yeah. what I mean. No, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I think, I mean, like, there is an audience for that stuff, obviously. If you go to the bookstore, they're all over the place. I just don't... I don't know. I, just I like, think it's for women who have opted for a corporate life rather than being a stay-at-home mom, and they need some kind of inspiration to get them through the day. Well, if a woman's working, who, what the hell gets done in the house all day? How's exactly. It, how's that's what I'm saying. Who's having the babies? Who's cooking the food? Uh, well, Portnoy Wright or write a forward for that book or no do you think would she um, i mean he wrote the the baby shark book that's true well yeah would she want a guy to write <laughs> would she want dave portnoy to write no i don't think so oh you know I what think i think i think it's more about the blurb game. you know well you know who i saw i because there's a copy of the cover you know who's blurbed up above the title of the book i saw this yesterday when the book was there it's not a joke it's actually I'm actually being serious barbara corcoran ah really yeah, i can see her doing the forward for that good for her yeah I getting Babs involved. Yeah. Give her something to do. She has some money. Bro. <laughs> yeah. 50 bucks. All right, what else? Uh, Blind Mike was uh, tweeting about this yesterday, but the Alec Baldwin reality show potentially in the works. Mm -hmm. Very, Very curious excited. about that. So uh, I, I, I was I saw the tweet as well. I'm a little bit not caught up on my Baldwin family history. Would they be his kids? Yes. He, he, okay. he, he, he and Hilaria have like Hilaria. seven kids together or yeah. six kids or something. Yeah. Hilaria. Yeah. Hilaria. What is a cucumber? Cucumber. What is it? Cucumber? How, cucumber. How do you say? How do you yeah. say? Yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah. How do, you, how do you say cucumber? Where's who is picking up the show? I, I don't even know if it said it. It was just like I think this is kind of like a, out of options. I, I like, think it's Alec like Baldwin throwing out an idea or exactly. Hilaria yeah. or whoever. Yeah. Yeah. Hoping somebody picks it yeah, up. Yeah, he yeah, wants yeah. her to be like Lucille Ball so bad that just didn't it just seems so <laughs> unlikable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did he ever get in trouble for killing that woman? Not yet. They're trying I to get him again. They're trying to redo the 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 case against him, right? Yeah, they are. I mean he shot somebody. Eh. I still say Ball. Was, I still say Ball was so crazy he might have known. <laughs> Just I, done it. it doesn't matter. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. You you pick up a gun, you check. Right. Yeah, but they have people. But I mean, in the movie, they do have people to do that. It doesn't matter. Eh, I mean, do you think you should go to jail for like murder for that or manslaughter? It's weird that someone pointed a gun and shot someone, and no one's getting in trouble for it. It's like no punishment it's whatsoever. It's it's like it was an issue throughout the set. If you remember reading that story a couple of years ago, is that already two years ago? Uh, 2021, yes. Yeah. That's crazy. When was it, 2021? Around this time. I think it was like October. Oh, was it? I think so. Okay. Mm, yeah, yeah, I'm not, I, yeah, I'm not, I mean, that's, that's not going to go. No one's going to pick that up. Yeah, October I'm 21st. So. 
Oh, really? So it was, yeah, it was two years ago? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, what else? Um, I do have some questions for Steve. Just oh, sure. Yeah, you um, can learn from him. Yeah, so over the years since you've left the show, because I've kind of found myself thinking like this as well, do you... You're already ready to bail and go... <laughs> I, 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 I want your sprinter I, I, I don't think this is easy. So. No, uh, do you like think in drops? Like if you're listening to TV in general or the radio, like I just find myself kind of... When I listen, to, when I listen to KMS, I do. <laughs> okay. When I hear people say things, like there are a couple of uh, Whitney drops that uh, definitely could have been grabbed yesterday. Okay. Um, and then secondly, what would you have wanted to add to the studio over the years if you had continued to be here? If there was I, a God, <laughs> what would he say to you when you arrive at the pearly gates? Your favorite curse word. Uh, I, I would have wanted to get the mural done for sure, but I could never find somebody. I had like three different people lined up to do it for free. So definitely improving the scene behind Kirk mm -hmm. and then uh, getting just better video capability and having that full-time switch is what I would have done. But. Go ahead, Coleman. Maybe okay, this is your chance to get, get the temperature right. Those, those, right. those were the two that I Get the temperature right at 68 degrees. Feels like something could <laughs> probably asked off air, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I figure people would be interested. <laughs> I hated the, what was his first question? <laughs> oh, do you think in drops? That I was, do think in drops. That was a terrible question. You think in drops? <laughs> yeah, like I'm Scum! watching something. <laughs> <laughs> I no, can't help it. I'm, like, listen, I'm driving around listening to NPR and I'm just thinking to myself, scum. <laughs> oh, those pop in my head sometimes. I thought you meant like, are you always thinking of the next What, what do you mean, Cole? No, you think no, drops no. Like, how? <laughs> like, I'll be just watching a TV show or a right. movie or something and then a line comes up that in my head I'm like that's a drop but even though it really wouldn't make sense us and Gus is sleeping yeah <laughs> <laughs> right, right. what I was thinking about I, I don't think this is Gus's fault what I'm about to say uh, but I have noticed not that Gus, he's, is, he he's either you. the f complete focus of the show or not involved at all that's true <laughs> you notice that's that's true. <laughs> hey, what do you think me, of that me, Gus me. I don't know I just talk when I have to talk okay there you go. When I have something to say, I don't care. Apologize, Mike. I, I'd be curious to know about the division of responsibilities back there. Sure. Yeah, that's a fair question. I yeah. should probably know the answer to that question. I, <laughs> I think majority of uh, figuring out topics, figuring out general behind the scenes of the show, communicating with different people to get uh, whether that's people at Barstool or the technical side of stuff. Like that's a lot on me for the most part. Drops is pretty much all on me. Um, I mainly go to Gus to get horizontal forms of clips. And then from there, I can make the vertical clips of those. Um, terrible. This is a terrible conversation. <laughs> Why do I ask this question? Who gives a shit. Horizontal. I'm just confused. I'm trying to give you some insight into the. I even the, by two now. Horizontal. Well, you understand. I don't even. Talking. I don't. I don't know what the difference between horizontal and vertical. Oh, so for like Insta Instagram, Instagram versus Instagram, Twitter. Twitter. Oh, Twitter. Oh, Mike, oh, Mike, oh, Mike, oh, shut, Mike, shut the fuck up. Nobody wants to continue this. Can't you? I'm the answer. Can't you just get interns? We always just had unpaid interns. We are, we are working on the interns. We're having an intern show. This is the longest conversation. The, the, no, 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 not this, but the intern. We've been having this for okay. since the start of the show. Not your fault, but since the start of the show, we've had these conversations. Like, well, why Steve we always had three interns. He did. Yeah, he did. Stable of unpaid interns. True. Yeah, we got one. Who's that? Josh. Josh. Oh, it's true. But why don't we have another one? I just don't know how beneficial they really would be to anything. Well, tell them why, Steve. You would know better than me. Have them clip the show. But that's what I've been going to do. the promo Gus videos. Gus, send is, Gus is essentially an intern, is what you're saying. Pretty much. Okay. But the, but I think you could have him doing something else. Well, like I think video when... Video switching. Exactly. Uh, researching topics, pulling audio clips. I think when Gus, when doing, we I, have the switcher all scheduling set Scheduling stuff for social media. What I, what, I, what I used to do is basically have Mike, when he was still paid, mm -hmm. uh, just do timestamps and say, hey, here are all these good clips, because he's got a good ear for that. Well, he, he has those as well. Yeah, but you, stamps, you can but. just have someone, an intern, do that. It's fair. Yeah. But, like, then we had people do it for free rather what, than paying Gus to do it. So you're saying is I shouldn't pay Gus. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 well, the, the other thing that I've thought that's my, my, that's my business plan. <laughs> that's true. The What's other that? thing that I've thought as well is when you ask Gus, like, what else or like for a topic, like I'd rather than him pull from the topics that I have on the master list, him have just some unique uh, idea or thought or, I would or, agree with or that. something like that to come up with. <laughs> I feel like instead. that's a big ask. Well, I'll say this though really? for Gus. Oh, for, for him, him to have a unique thought? Well, that's just a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> I got enhancements for that. I pull what like the, mean? the tone of the Twitter that you've been uh, displeased with. Uh -huh. Stuff like that. Or even like topics for the show, not be, like being different than what they have been or right. whatever. I put that more on Gus because he knows, is supposed to know the show better. Right. I agree. I there's a lot of that too. Like I'll have a like post or something. A here. Jesus. I'll <laughs> have a post or something. You okay, Gus? No, I'm fine. He doesn't, he doesn't care. Hey, I'll he's say always that. fine. He yeah, works for a good. US attorney. That's a good point. 
Go I'll have a post or something and life. ask <laughs> Gus, like, if this makes sense within the show? context of the show, like, yes. maybe I'm missing out on something. Right. You ask him that. Yes. Yeah. yeah and he's good. He's good with that. I mean, for the most part, unless, yeah. unless you shit on the, on oh, the right. post. I feel like Coleman's down on Gus, though. It seems that way. Yeah, but is he on? doing I, that? I, is he I kind of know, is right. he being I think Steve right now? You know, for what's potting? That's what. Is, that's what he's still. Oh, oh he's still having what's potting. No, I think it's like I think it's like when you show up at prison. You know, you gotta you gotta take the other guy and. Clock him in the mouth. Yeah. Let him right. know who's the, who's the top dog that. is. That's true. I, I will say I thought it was a good job figuring out press passes and stuff for Comic-Con. I was pretty hands-off on that. And wow, incredible. So well, to be able to have something for Comic-Con. Some, hey, something you might get Carl have. Weathers out of it. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able. I mean, point. I could have done that, but, you know, he took it his own initiative and so, did that. So my so. question on that front is, did you guys reach out to Comic-Con as part of this process to try to book Carl Weathers? Because when, when the celebrities show up, that's usually... How you do it? You book them, but they the but they actually do within those comic cons. Are they doing like podcasts and stuff? Or are they just there? I think I think <laughs> media usually goes through Comic Con. You don't show up. Part of me, and yeah. So the way yeah, I don't know. I've, yeah. I've been to that one before um, from my, one of my old jobs. So you get, you can go up and approach, and if the person's okay with it, they'll do it. Uh, but you can also go through. So that's why as soon as we got the okay, talked to Coleman this morning, sent an email about saying, hey, is there an opportunity for us on Saturday to talk with Carl? <laughs> Uh, for that, so there as we a go. back on up it. on that, and then we're still gonna go because even if I don't get a response from there, we might be able to nab him for like thirty seconds at least to sure. say something and sure. Make the, the point connection. is Monday morning we're all gonna walk out to Gus's trunk to talk to Carl Weathers. <laughs> 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 Just slip him one of those five hundred milligram edibles. <laughs> and luckily for us, Gus is so dumb I should get John Amos. Back <laughs> <the show>. <laughs> <laughs> It'll actually be a win for all of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. What else? Either one of you. What else? Got a call from Tim and Canton about some stuff he's trying to sell. Okay. I think I know what You're on the air. Good morning. What do you have for sale there? It's a Kirk the Magnificent magic kit. Okay. You know, funny story behind this, Earl. Yeah? Me and my wife, we gave it to him when he was younger, and he used it a few times, and then I really wanted him to focus on basketball, so I, I kind of hit it on him. Okay. That was it. Find out for his 18th birthday, wow. his mother planned a surprise party for him. <laughs> he invited all his friends over, and when they came over, oh, okay. he actually put on a magic show. So really? he's been practicing for years <laughs> behind our back. Is this free? It's free. It's for oh, well, my goodness. <laughs> okay, there you my go. Goodness. You had something for sale. You have something for sale. Ah, okay. What do you have? It's a size 14 wedding dress. Okay. <laughs> and I'm looking for. Why is this that? It's, Why? The audio, it's the way the audio came okay. in. Be uh, warned, this wedding dress was not used abortion. twice now. Mm. I don't know if you'd say it's cur. That's it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> is that the one? It's, it's, a, the, it's a, the short one. That was, okay. an, that was an early version. There's a longer one, right? Yeah. 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 You have the longer one? I'm trying. I'm trying to find See, it. Well, Where'd you find it? Uh, the, I made it. Oh, well, you mean you actually performed an abortion? <laughs> no, I mean, I stitched a so bunch where of things. the baby's together. crying? Because I mean, well, it's, it's a late term. <laughs> it's a okay. Ralph Northam abortion. Okay, that's a, that's a huge left wing. Uh, yeah, it's the kind okay. of that we just legalized in Maine. It's a state. Oh, is that right? <laughs> oh, yeah. You can go all the way up to like. You can. Uh, in, the, in the actual delivery room? You can go right up into the point of birth and you can sell the baby parts afterwards. Really? No yeah. way. To mm -hmm. who? To what? To Justin. <laughs> <laughs> To, to, for like for for uh, now you'll always be with me. <laughs> That's how they make a bonus. I don't want to answer this question. All right, what else? Um, so we were talking the other day about how um, it's not mutstack.com, but we were saying how Mutt, one of Mutt's websites uh, links to something Mike else. Manansky.com. Yes. Is that right? Links so, to I think it links to Brian Mike. I think also no. Mutt with two T's maybe link oh, to okay. my website or something. Okay. Yeah. So it links the the one I saw the other day links to barstool.tv slash ppv. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, somebody did that. That's nice. But then also, uh, Minahan2024.com uh -huh. links to Donald Trump's uh, support page. Well, we're together. That doesn't surprise me. I'm <laughs> former president and I are good friends. And that's, yeah, stuff. that's fine. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm fine with that. Well, I have bad go. news, Mike. What's that? MUTTstack.com no longer Damn. goes to blindmikeproject.net. All that traffic. Oh, no. Hey, Ooh, it goes to miltons.com. Oh, oh, good. good. Okay. All right. we'll, we'll be, I'll, I'll allow that. We'll be there today. Yeah. Uh, uh, miltons.com. Kirkminahan.com. Mm. Was that still the Globe? Or was it? Yeah, it's like a, Shirley. Is that that's funny? Uh, Remember J Jerry? <laughs> Jerry's used to be. Uh, what was some, it? Some wild Pornhub content. Oh, was it really? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who didn't like you guys bought the, bought up your domains, and they've been hanging on to them. I, I, you gotta admire holding holding the grudge. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, I mean, if that's what they want to do. Sure. 
Uh, fall is definitely here. Milton's Store for Men is everything you need as winter gets closer. Henley's, hoodies, jeans, coats. We'll be there today. We'll be in Burlington walking around there for a nice lunch. The boys will be there, I think, scheduled to be there. Mike Geary, Steve Robinson, Coleman, Gus, myself, Mike Mednanski. Maybe Justin Trudell, is that right? I thought so, right? And Justin Trudell. That's a, that's a power group, Steve. It certainly is. And Bill, of course. And Bill. That's true. The more people, the less I have to say. It's always been my <laughs> uh, uh, Calvin Klein. Uh, Dave Colling was invited, too, by the way. He's not going to go. No, he's, he's, uh, he's too busy. To he feels like he's like a He's talking. Yeah. He's, at, he's at Top Golf with Pel- Peltier today. <laughs> is he really? <laughs> Just for like content or well it i think i think pelt's got the early invite because his son i think was working there oh i think yeah, that's what yeah. he said so it, this is like the family friends day so dave gets to go with pelt's i love the image of conan walking out of his house. bye honey in a suit with his briefcase <laughs> and then just Rips changing it in the car <laughs> i mean okay i love Conan, but like isn't that kind of sad like it's very sad do some work like, is this, is this, are we in the early stages of him trying to like carry minifan twitter audience into yeah. some kind of social media that's personality. what i mean I, 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 if i didn't like calling it would, it would annoy me but i like him so it doesn't really annoy me. but it's like build your own thing you know get your own audience that's why i like buymike.net hey thanks it's unique but like mike's working trying like, calling like it's just i i don't know he's playing the hits yeah, but he what? has zero fucking listeners <laughs> but, like, but like what's the what's the end game for him I think I he's just I, having fun. That's I it. actually believe he's doing that for fun. Yeah, so yeah. do I. So yeah. do I. I, mean, I mean, he's collecting the unemployment, right? He said he's got a bunch of real. What's he doing? He said he had three jobs. Or I don't something? even know. Three like three consulting gigs. <laughs> yeah, freelance. I always said it, it's that's a, it's a constellation of side hustles. Right. Well, that you 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 believe that Colin was working side jobs while he was here. Well, I do. It would explain a lot. Yeah, it's six a.m. Like I I actually believe that. I do believe that, and I believe Milton's the place to go for clothes. Uh, we'll be at Burlington Mall today. You can go to Social Plaza and Branch or Chestnut Hill Square and Chestnut Hill, of course. Buy one, get one free suit event as weddings continue to roll on. Uh, the original sponsor of Kirk Minahan, not just KMS. We'll get to spend some time with the people there today. I love it. I love, 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 love Milton's. Go to Milton's.com uh, today and we'll uh, be vlogging out of the way. Yeah. Yes. What's vlogging? What's vlogging, baby? Good. Excellent. Good, good, good. <laughs> All right. What else? Uh, Amy Schumer with a wild Instagram post yesterday. Uh, she was talking about the. Uh, about Hamas and Israelis. She's very into this. Yes, um, but I'll read the whole thing because she quickly changes topics. Uh, She goes, couple things. What I want is all caps, every hostage back. I want safety and freedom from Hamas for Palestinians and Israelis. Sure. I want safety for Jewish people and Muslims as well. Everyone, just like you, I want peace. You will never see me wishing harm on anyone, saying I'm Islamophobic or that I like genocide is crazy. So here you go by popular demand. Comments on, please keep the below in mind. When you say I'm rich, please add in self-made. I come, 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 she puts that twice, being dirt poor. Senator Chuck Schumer is my dad's second cousin once removed. I didn't meet him until I was 25. I've never... This is a comedian, right? I, yeah. was, getting... I was about to say this. Oh, is the girl for oh, Jim Norton. Well, she'll, <laughs> she'll remind you that. Oh, okay, okay. I've yeah. never been given any money to support a cause other than tampons. I've never stolen a joke. Pretty sure that's a lie. That's not true, right, Mike? Uh, I... I've defended her on okay. that, but she's been yeah. she's been cr- accused of that. Certainly, some accusations. Yeah. Well, she goes here. People calling me a failed comic. I'm the most successful female comedian of all time. Same <laughs> breath as everything else. I'm ugly slash fat. Okay, sorry you aren't attracted to me. I found someone who is. I hope you find someone too. Right back to it. We are all in a lot of pain. What hurts the most is that we all actually love each other. You why hate Jews. You don't so know why. Snap by this. Still I'm love starting it. to feel like this isn't about Hamas. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit defensive. <laughs> why, they, why does everyone break like this? What is she so worked up about? I think she's been getting a lot of criticism from well, she's, the, she's the spoke, pro-Hamas. She spoke her mind. Like, that's what happens. Like, if you want to be left. that outspoken, you're going to get some shit. Like, and if you're fat, people are going to call you fat. If you're ugly, they'll call you ugly. If you suck at movies, your comedies, your like, they're going to find the things that, that they think are going to trigger you. They're going to go after them. Obviously, it's successful. But she's allowed to defend herself as well. Of course, but I mean, but like, this is a supposed to be a comedian. Uh, I have a. We were playing a clip of uh, Rosie O'Donnell the other day, and she has a lot. She's she does. She's on TikTok now, where she's just oh, doing man, she's selfie yeah, videos. She, she looks she looks worse than Hunter Biden. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, there's one video where she's like, "Congratulations to my daughter who just had uh, their whatever yeah. child." And, uh, you know, it really makes you think about all the horribleness that's happening in uh, Israel right now. And just goes yeah, into right, a rant. Right, it's right. like, She's, how are these the same message? No, they just want to talk about it. And, <laughs> their, and, their, and their lives are people saying yes to them. Like, that's Amy Schumer's life. Yeah. That's Telling them how, how awesome their opinions right, are. Rosie O'Donnell's yeah. life. George Clooney's life. Howard Stern's life. Like, they just don't hear. They're not grounded in any reality. So when they, you know, 
when they get out there, they're like, oh, wait a minute. People, people don't totally agree with me. This is crazy. And right, they don't right. know how to handle it. So they break. And they're insecure. People going to Hollywood are insecure anyway. So it's like they need that. I don't know. Who would you say is the most successful female comedian of all time, though? Joan, well, I mean, well, I mean, it's sort of like Joan Rivers, I mean, I Roseanne. Say, I, mean, I would say Roseanne. Roseanne because she has yeah, sitcom yeah, made, Roseanne. She's, she's back. sitcom on TV Ellen. for like five years. Ellen has been way more successful than Amy Schumer. Sarah, well, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah right Silverman's people. close to Amy, probably. Yeah, I mean, but if you're talking about money made, Ellen. Yeah. But not, oh, from her, down, not from her yeah. stand up, yeah. but like. And you know, I bet Roseanne made more than Amy, I would think. Yeah, she was in the Finding Nemo TV. for Ellen hey, where probably did it. Where'd Hannah Gadsby go? Finding Nemo. She disappeared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was, she was that's a massive. That's a massive movie. Well, the Finding Nemo is not why Ellen. I mean, the Ellen DeGeneres show is. She's why. the second lead. <laughs> but she must, she must have made insane yeah, but money. That's not, yeah, but that's not. I guess, but that's not. She's not like a comedian doing that. It's kind like of. Boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. she was Dory. It was the whale noises. Okay. They, did do, they made Finding Dory. <laughs> Dealing with children here, I guess. Okay. You know, he should have mentioned Finding Dory. He would have respected Just that. Keep Just, Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. I mean, Roseanne for sure. Ellen for sure. I mean, Amy Schumer's up there. I'm not, I'm not saying. As tonight. far as money, yeah. Top definitely. 10, I would say. Money, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Joan yeah. Rivers is a bigger figure historically. Much bigger. Uh, Phyllis Diller is a bigger figure historically. Yeah, Just remember, yeah. Chuck Schumer is her second cousin. That's true. <laughs> So I she, never met him. Second cousin. So well, she, can't call crazy. Him, she can't call him retarded. Then. It's only your first cousin. Yeah. Right? That's <laughs> Developmentally like, disabled. Yeah, gotcha. When Amy was a young comic, she made jokes about how Chuck Schumer wanted nothing to do with her and would like distance him. And now like he uses her as a yeah, your best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Not, yeah. not a comedian. That's not a comedian. Huh. She's not a comedian. She's a great actress. Melissa she's she's McCarthy is up there. She's not a comedian. Mm. Tina Fey is up Come there. Come on, Cole. Tina Fey, I would count. You think Faye counts? Whitney Cummings. Well, then it's not a comedian. It's not. Well, I'm thinking stand up. But she's a writer at least. Like, yes. I, I mean, I, not Julia Dreyfus is not a comedian. No. She's a great comedic actress. That's different. It's like yeah. Lucille Ball. Like that's that's different. Whitney right? Cummings. Uh, uh, not, the next level down yeah, at least. Yeah. Kristen Wiig and then Amy Schumer. Kristen Wiig, I don't count. Twenty five mil. Oh, you're doing money? Yeah. In in terms of highest earning. Yeah, I don't even know who. I don't even know how they know that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I will right, we'll take a few calls. Steve's here. People might want to talk to Steve. Say hello. You got a busy day today. My goodness gracious. Am I crazy to be so worked up over this Steve Collins guy? The Kevin Cullen of the yes. seventh heaven death? Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, you are. Guys, you know, he's an idiot. But he's, he, I want to do to him what I feel he like, I feel like he goes Collins. back at you once in a while, though. Like, he's in on the joke a little bit, no? I saw, no, I saw no, him tweet about it. Oh, no, he's not? No. Who, he, who is it? He wrote a big angry op-ed about me. Mike, don't ask questions you know the answer to, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he's a, he's a, sun, a Sun Journal reporter who's like Kevin Cullen. Like, he's yeah, going to yeah, inject himself into Mike all the stories. Mike knows Of course, yes. What's that, Mike? I get the Sun Journal every day. He's one of, like, the top reporters in Lewiston, Maine, and every single tweet this every single tweet this week has been about like himself how tired like, he is he's like i can't believe i had to wake up to this nightmare oh. <laughs> you know it's just like everything is so cullen-esque injecting himself into the stories whereas you show it with deranged phone calls you're like yes. how tired yeah, I exactly, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He powers through it i was trying to bring the humor yeah he there was a little bit of that with him but does he make stuff up i'm onto it oh you are you are i'm onto it oh you're doing a deep dive uh, oh yeah i like that i'm in for that it's sad. Colin just writes about like Vermont now. Like it's just he's just beaten down. It's no fun. It is too bad. I'd love for him to just do one more, just for me. But is he to Vermont what he was to Boston? I mean, he's like, I just love the woods. No, you know? it's, like, a, it's like it's like I was getting my hair cut next to this guy, yeah, Robert. Right. <laughs> he's telling me about be, these voices. Turns to be a liar. Remember? Remember he did that? He was a barbershop story. The guy was like, Yeah, he wasn't here that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Look at these two. What's going on here? Sorry, the, the our Google Voice has been acting weird the past couple of days. Oh, oh boy. yeah, that's what I would say. Oh boy, yeah, good move. <laughs> <laughs> it has been though. Two o'clock today, by the way. If you're online, that'll be uh, me and Frankie Burley. Our round of golf is on the four. I imagine the four play YouTube channel. Yep, at two o'clock today. It was fun. I had a good time. Frankie's great. Great guy. Those guys are good. four play guys are great guys. Well, not Rappaport, but the other three. Did you see the uh, Boston, the Boston's team in the golf league release their roster to this morning? No. You got Rory. The, Bo Ma the Boston's team? The Boston Common Golf is okay. the team name for the golf league. Yeah. The new league. TGL, startup. yeah. Yep. And you have Rory McIlroy, Keegan Bradley, Adam Scott, and Tyrell Hatton. Tyrell Hatton. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't care about that league. doesn't mean anything to me. It's like fake. That stuff's all fake. I just care about the PGA Tour. That's, you know, whatever. I hate Rory McIlroy. He's a douche. If you gave me four shots aside, I'd beat him. I'd shut, beat him. It, shut it up, boys. Yeah, do it. Do it. Book him. Is he at Comic Con this weekend? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe Carl Weathers could caddy for you. That's true. You, you well. teach me how to play. Yeah. 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 It's probably what he's best, second best known for, right? 
I would think so. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. Yeah. Arrested Development. He was good at Arrested Development. You got a stew going. Yeah. I remember he met with... He... he oh, uh... Was he in Roots? It? He was not. Why would you say that? <laughs> anyway, I knew I was taking a risk. <laughs> he really wasn't? No. Nope. All right. No. Nope. He sure wasn't, Mike. All right. Never mind. <laughs> Why would you think that? I don't know. I, le- I legitimately thought, not just because he's black. Are you I the, actually you, thought. Your generation, you guys watch Roots in school, right? Yeah. yeah. Nope. Yeah, yeah, oh, you didn't? No. no. A lot no, of not kids. Steve's school. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, God, no. A lot of kids did, though. By the way, that story. Roots are a really good miniseries. But, like, Alex Haley's made up a ton of shit in that book. Oh, so, boy. Like, which is... If you think about it later on, it's like, well, how the hell would you have known that stuff? But it's okay if you make it up in a certain direction. Well, of course. Yeah, yeah. We, we know that. How's it going there, guys? Uh, it's it's really fucked up. But What's going on? Oh, man. It's not it connecting. It just keeps ending our call instead of connecting fully through like normal. That doesn't sound good. Steve, no. get back there. Take the reins. I'm working on it. Yeah? Yes. I'll watch this. I'll be- oh, you go back there and fix it? No, I'm going to go take a piss. You never used to. <laughs> oh, good. That's why we put the bottle out for you. We'll talk about BlindMike.net for a moment. Go ahead. Oh, please, thank you. Please, well, please. please. Uh, up on YouTube and wherever else you get podcasts right now, you can get Why You Laughing, the full history of Howard Stern versus Opie and Anthony. Yeah, I got to listen to that. And then uh, the next episode, which is uh, going up on Patreon today and uh, will be out everywhere else next week, will be Chris Farley. Finally, oh, an, issue, an issue that's never been tackled before. <laughs> Did he have some trouble in his life? <laughs> As a matter of fact, <laughs> we that, get into it, yeah. Good, good. Uh, Probably and, his brother on. He goes on every documentary. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we put a bonus episode up yesterday where we broke down uh, Ron and Fez, the Christmas gift, which is one of the strangest relationships, partnerships in radio history. Oh, right, so, right. Okay, that's up there now, that too. Out. Okay, yeah. Good, good, good. What would you, th- you think? Would you learn about Stern and Opie Anthony? Anything or no? Uh, no, I knew a lot of it. Some people said, uh, or one guy commented that I, I missed some stuff, so maybe we could end up doing a part two. Mm-hmm. But it was really, my main takeaway was like, Stern never acknowledged them. Right. And I think it's, I, I th- and maybe this is because I'm an Open Anthony fan, but my thing is like, they're the only show that really went hard back at him as hard as he went at others. So like, he had no problem taking victory laps on I Miss and DeBell and shit. For sure. But Opie and Anthony would hit below the belt, so he ignored them. Like right. he, I think he that's right. threw his strategy away. I of. think that's exactly right. How are we doing, Colin? We're good now. Uh, I think so. Yeah, Gus logged into his. His number went through, so I might just need to fix up mine. Gus, good job. Or something. Yeah. Just nicely See? done. See? That's yeah. why he's here. Yep. See? See? It's great. There you go. All right. <laughs> Do we have the number? Yep. I'll retweet that. Why not? Buy Mike Dodnet. Go subscribe, please. Thank you. Please, please, please. Is Jerry back on the air, Mike? Was Not Craig? to my knowledge. He no. said he was available in the morning. I saw he was coming back soon. He tweeted yesterday or something. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Itching to do a pod, sounded like. Oh, boy. Many things to talk about. Jeez. I mean, it's good to get that amped up in between taking his videos. Did you see that? His Twitter when he was walking across somewhere in Boston of all the ripped down signs? Jerry, no. He, he loves was, stuff like that. He was very offended by it. He was not happy? No. Yeah, he's taking a very hard stance on that. Which I guess is good. I mean, I, I, who the hell knows? I don't know. You're not going to believe this, but I saw the whiteboard in the other room over there. It's just Chris Broussard's family tree. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah, here it is. Barstool Golfs. Uh, playing nine holes with Kirk Manning. Premieres at 2 p.m. on four play golf. I'm looking at it right now. So nice. Give it, give, it, give it a view. These guys are very... I had lunch with them the other day they're, after the round. They're very into the view total. So. What is Help this? Out. What is that? I, so Frankie plays nine holes with everybody. He's played with Hank. He's played with Francis. He's played with Jerry. He's played with different people at the company of golf. Okay. It's just nine holes. We just oh, bullshit. But you're not. I, the clip I saw it was like, well, Kirk beat Francis. Yeah, so everybody has a, had a score. And Francis has the best score so far. Of anybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. So I didn't realize Francis was such a good golfer. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, why, why are you saying this? I didn't realize he was such a good Did golfer. You ever, did you really give any thought before? <laughs> No, that was my, was my a, was a, Did you a, think he was a bad golfer? It was a realization. And you're, you're like, wow. No, when I, when I heard on the show that he was the the best golfer of all the Barstool golfers. I wouldn't go that far, but he's a good golfer. He's a good golfer. Yeah, he's, yeah, I guess, yeah. I like Francis. He's down there with the, he's away with the four-play guys somewhere, I guess. Huh? They load up? Yes, they right, loaded up. Let's go. Hey, you doing? I got a question for Coleman and a question for Kirk. All right, go ahead. Coleman. Is this Katie Gunner thing a bit, or is this, she's fat and disgusting. Her ass is gelatinous. Jesus. She's got the broadest shoulders I've ever seen. Th- thick girls like need love too, bro. a Jersey thing or a young guy thing? 
She's, oh my god! You know what she's gonna look like when she has a kid? She's gonna weigh three hundred and fifty pounds. That's my good friend you're talking about. I mean, that's yeah, I mean, big I, two C's. What's 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 wrong with that? Yeah, is she a little cushion deal? to pushing. Yeah. Uh, well, well, all right, uh, Kirk. Uh, if you ask me the same question, <laughs> 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 Coleman Coleman needs a girl with bigger breasts than him. <laughs> <laughs> what's that, buddy? What's the question? Eddie Murphy, gay or straight? Well, uh, who's to say? I will say, obviously, he, he's not afraid to pick up somebody on the street who needs a ride. Somewhere. Look, it's a spectrum. <laughs> yeah, so what? It's a spectrum. I mean, I, who's to say? I mean, you know, he seems like he's a flamboyant fella. I, it's okay. He has a couple of tracks that I signify think he's as straight list. as an arrow. That's true. What's that color? Actors in the closet. What'd you say? The top 10 actors in the closet. That's your next list. Mm, okay, thank you. I will do that. Thank you very much. It was an order. Yeah, well, not, I won't do it next, but yeah, sure. For some, I, I think legally that'd be a good move. I think I will. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if you just have to suck dick to get a part in a big movie, does that make you gay, or does no. that make you just a hustler? No, it fine. makes you. Well, Eddie, got Eddie, grit and determination. Did Eddie, did Eddie pick up a, a was it transgender? What was his? What was his thing? That's really all I know. That he he was in some way caught with a person of, of the trans persuasion, but right. I don't know any more about that. Okay, well, back was, in the eighties. That, that, no, I, feel like, I think it was in the. Oh, I thought even two thousand. I thought it was nineties. Yeah, maybe. I feel like even twenty years ago, that was a. It was a different community. You think so? Yeah. You know? No. Hello. 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 Good morning. This is unemployed Dave Colony's burner account on Twitter, Boston Radio Watch. Got a load of this this week in nineteen sixty seven. Cream released their second studio album, Disraeli Gears which became the group's American breakthrough. Speaking of releasing cream like a foppish dandy, that's what Steve Robinson does every hour as the inadequacies of the Maine State Police are brought to life. Send tweet. Quite like terrible caller. <laughs> it should have been aborted. <laughs> I was it was hovering over. Am I wrong? I was letting him play out, but it I feel was bad because now he won't call anymore. He's a nice guy. I'm sure I've it. never really understood it. Well, calling it out, you understand the premise. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but it's it, never funny. Is that? But if that's the bit, then I'm all for it. I guess that's what I'm at. I, I never understand. Is it? Things Cullinan has tweeted. Or? I'm also saying like if he's, if he's like I'm going to be on funny on purpose, then keep doing it. Yeah. Like, I'm all for it. That's the bit. Commit to it. But I don't. Yes. I've never once laughed. No, I don't think. Oh, now I feel bad. But he calls with <laughs> great regularity. Some would say too great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't heard from JJ in a while. That's true. Yeah. I hope he's all right. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Robert Redford guy. How you doing? This is, now, this is a good caller. He's Mike. a good guy. Yes. Yes, he is a good guy, Mike. You're right. <laughs> he's a great he's, man. He's many great things for charity <laughs> over the years. What's up, buddy? Uh, I think Coleman may have tipped his hand that he was rich when he talked down to the police officer the other day. Kind That's of like, ooh, I wanted to get into oh, this. Yes. Great point. Yes. If anything, I, I feel like great point. Conservatives back the. the I pay your no, salary. No, but I feel like this was a, like, I feel like this was a defund the police lib type. No, thing. no, I think it's yeah. more like a male Karen, almost like yeah, like you know, like, who do you think you are? I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm from the Coleman family. <laughs> like, you know that whole thing. I like that. Yeah, you believe that one, Coleman, or no? No, I, I just don't like having an interruption to the show, like messing up my whole flow of everything, and then having to go oh, do that. Should park in the when right I, place. Then. I do did you, park do you in have, the right place. Was the thing? Do you have like a little ADD where you get hyper focused on something, and then when someone interrupts it, it's just like a stress thing for you? Some or? pig? A little bit. It, it's just hard to like <laughs> pop back in and miss, you know, the Wait, flow put your of conversation. Fucking knee on my neck. Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> Oh, you're on bullying white kids now, huh? <laughs> Taking a break from killing minorities to come harass me, huh? Exactly. I didn't even kill Coleman after Coleman's stupid face as my Twitter avatar for like a month. <laughs> just I need my I'm fucking doing, life. Doing vigils and yeah. kill fun yeah. for Coleman. Like like you could just post like a black box for me. That'll do. Or a white box, actually. Just a serious That'll Coleman episode. <laughs> he's a great guy. Oh, yeah. He's, he's with Harry Potter now. and he's with oh, his, no. his work great. ethic was unbelievable. <laughs> Let's have large on for an hour to talk about. Oh God! <laughs> All right, hello. They load up. They're loaded up. Okay. Hey, Kirk. Hey, Mike. Hey, Steve. JJ. I mean, how we doing, guys? Is that planted, Coleman? That's, you you know, know his number. I, I, don't, I have no idea. You, you saw it. I don't know a single, single number on here. I really. Don't. We can't do that. We can't. We don't do that. I didn't. It I wasn't planted. Gosh, is that planted or no? I mean, he, that number's been up there for a while. But uh, would he six know JJ's before. number? I, six minutes is a long time. It's been six minutes. Okay, cool. that's very All strange. Right, JJ, go ahead. Hey, hey, I had a quick question. Um, 
Are you guys Steve Martin fans? And two, do you guys have you ever seen that new show that he does, or it's been out a couple of years? Only Murders in the Building. You I'm like a that? Steve. Yeah, no? I'm a big Steve Martin fan. Um, I like the first season, and I thought it stunk after that. Not a fan of Steve Martin. No, yeah, no, the, the, the show. Season. Selena Gomez ruined it for me. She's just so she's a terrible actress. She's very Kristen Stewart in Twilight, where she's like she's depressed just, and yeah. emo y. Yeah, no, it, I shouldn't say she's a terrible actress. I, that's right. That's not my style. I think that's actually well said. I'm not a big fan. I'm a big Steve Martin fan. I like Martin Short. I don't. Sometimes he overcooks, but yeah, yeah. Were you a fan of his stand-up? Cool, thanks, guy. Yes, you were. Yes, yeah. I think he's a very funny guy. Yeah, yeah. I never. I I grew more appreciation when I did an episode about him, and so I read his book for it. His book is great, and I was like, oh, he is. He's a genius. Yes, <laughs> I, he's I didn't really realize that. One of the greatest of all time. Yeah, he better be high on that list. Uh, he's well. Uh, I won't give it away. But he better be high on that list. But this, or is, on, this or, is my uh, list. I'm telling you, you better be high on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I want Dice and Steve Martin high Look at that. List. Don Rickles, number yeah. one. What are the chances? <laughs> Dennis Miller? <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's a Trong Selsa. Oh, boy. <laughs> Trung? Who? What? Trung Seltzer. How are you doing? Trung, oh, Trung Seltzer. Oh, right. Trung, I was reading this actual. I'll translate. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. Trung, how are you? Hello. Yeah, hello. No, we good, just have. Good. Happy late birthday, Kurt. Oh, how are very, you? That's very nice of you, Trung. Thank you. I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. Do you know it's illegal in China for a man to have an ear pierce? It's not from China. It's, but that's still a fact, maybe, <laughs> Coleman. <laughs> right. He's a fucking lawyer. <laughs> he knows things of other lands. Go ahead. It's yeah. I didn't know that, uh, Trung. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, uh, yeah. Kurt, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna step to a joke, uh, Tron. But, okay. Egg roll. okay, we're good, Tron. Oh, so yeah. yeah, if we're going Ciao. egg roll that early, Chow, <laughs> Chow, <Ciao>, Tron, <laughs> Tron <laughs> Seltzer. Uh, I thought that was a step to a joke, but we yeah. went. Hello. I'm thinking maybe there's yeah. like an Asian themed abortion sound effect that you could play. Oh, <laughs> you gong. Ding 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 ding. Jesus. Hello. Bro, is Coleman, do you see, like, what all my barstool friends are doing, bro? Like, hell, they're, they're sick over there. I used to work at Is this the pizza guy? For... Is this the pizza guy? The who? Is this the pizza guy? I'm not sure. It is, yeah. That's okay. sad. Oh, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't, don't do that. What McFush are you daddy. doing? Hang on. That's, that's the lowest moment <laughs> oh, in no. the history of your life. Yeah. Mutt did it first. Uh, was actually. I dead. mean, that's really that's <laughs> a human can't get lower than that. He's better than that. Jesus, so that's a tough one. Coleman, What's really cause... sad is that I know it. It's his voice. <laughs> it's all. It's a lot of sadness yeah, built on top the, of each other. It's a very sad situation. <laughs> yeah. It's a tough spot for Coleman to be in, though, because you can't you can't prematurely abort the collar that's making fun of you. Exactly. You right. Know, you gotta kind of let it. Yeah. yeah. You gotta give you a shot. You gotta let it. Steve. You gotta let it be born, <laughs> and you just gotta set it out there. Right. And but also, Coleman can't abort collars with the same sound. Oh, I, I agree. I have my own That's, that I like. Uh-oh. Well, Should we? Let's, we'll give it a shot here. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. I mean, not now, but I'm saying if it, when it comes up. Yeah. I, I wanted this for Steve today. Steve's that's, back. I think that's right. Let's go Coleman. down memory lane a little. Yeah. Make my day, Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kirk, it's known train enthusiast Neil Young. How are you guys? That's Yeah, that is true, Mike. Neil Young, have we talked about this? That he's a Neil Young is a enthusiast. massive, like, like, little, like, model train enthusiast. Really? Yes. He'll go to, like, conventions he's crazy into it his time when he's not tattling on joe rogan that's right oh, he's that's like good. uh he's like bobby from the sopranos he's <laughs> very into it tough to throw yourself in front of a model train i've tried yeah it's not as, it's not as successful. Yeah. <laughs> just a you broken it's good finger for, it's, good for, it's good for scouting though. it's a line in that mclean song <laughs> it's actually. great for scouting yeah, is it really yeah, yeah. It jumps is. in front of a model train <laughs> that's funny uh, well, we'll find out, Mike, soon enough. If, well, if it makes the countdown, we'll find out. Yes. In between long distance dedication. <laughs> That's right. Yes. It's going to make the countdown. How many votes are we up to now? Uh, I think 300. Now. Oh, my God. Whoa. That's incredible. All right. Yes. Go ahead, Neil. I'm sorry. Well, I woke up this morning with love in mind, and I wanted to ask sure. Big Steve a question. Can you give us a fishing report for the, uh, for the year? Uh, fishing report, not great. No, why not? Not great. Just haven't had a lot of time to get out and fish, to be honest. And I, I fished the. Um, uh, the Crooked River a little bit on my anniversary and no dice. Nothing was no. running, no hatches. Do you miss that open road at all? Oh, every day. Yeah. Uh, every day. I know I do. I, uh, it's it's constricting, right? Yeah. I, I would love to be out driving around in the van. Yeah. Problem is crime doesn't take a vacation. Exactly. It doesn't. Exactly. You know? it doesn't. But you know, this, you know what, Steve? The good thing is there'll be a shooting somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe you'll be driving around when it happens, you know? I mean, that's the, one thing, that's one thing I can always guarantee. boost the Twitter following. That's true. I was That's thinking true. of that, and I wasn't even blaming Steve. I was just thinking in my mind, I was like, it's funny that Steve right now is like, 
Yes. <laughs> refresh, refresh, Excellent. refresh. <laughs> you know how sometimes the uh, the firefighter gets a thrill from putting exactly. out a fire? Sure, yeah, of yeah. course. And he turns around and becomes an arsonist. Yes. Oh, gee, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Gus, watch out. Too good for the case. <laughs> uh, Kirk, hello. I don't know how we're going to solve this one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a clue, though. Hello. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Hey, Steve. Uh, what do you think about Turtle Boy's arrest? Oh, I think it's the best thing that could ever happen for his career. This guy, right? you're, this is the Dan Cast caller. You're obsessed with Turtle Boy, Dan. Well, no, it's just, it's unbelievable. That's all. You don't think them trying to silence him and arresting him? I, I have the to same say, people that he's listen, been reporting listen, on. I, I have to of say, of course I do. But I'm just saying, it's, it's all you call about. I, I have, I have not read, um, you know, part one through True, part two hundred and forty six of the story. I'm not totally well versed in it, but it seems like bullshit from the well, little bit of it I've sure. read. Sure, I mean, mostly, I don't, I don't, I don't know the, I don't know that well either. I know it's all the same characters from season two of the case, actually. Uh, but it's crazy. Yeah, that's what it's fascinating. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> just seems like a wickedly corrupt police department. Of course. They, they pulled some shit. They thought yeah. they were going to get away with and it. If he even goes won't. to jail for 90 days, that's even better. Like It's going to suck for him, but in the long run, if he has to go to prison for this. street cred coming out? Way better. Be like, I, there, I would want there to There's some, some guys I put away in there. It's true. It's a good point. It's a good point. <laughs> Hello. But yeah, I mean, he's getting obviously the fucking, yeah. Hello. Yeah, Steve, was that call really you the other day or was it Janet Mills? Because you both sounded equally shit out. <laughs> <laughs> we covered it in the podcast. But yes, it was me. By the way, I don't think Janet Mills was drunk on that. You know? No, I don't. I how, don't. How much have you seen her I have. public I've, speaking? I've seen her speak. I think yeah. she's kind of a weird speaker. I think you Yeah, a little bit. I think, you, I think you wanted that to be true. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, she maybe. Might, I think she might, look, I wasn't saying it. I was just asking questions. Oh, God. That's a good I point. was just asking questions. <laughs> That's so a journalist. It's very subtle. Yeah, I was, was just very, asking questions. She might have had a few pops, maybe. She was, you know. I was just asking questions. That, that is, well, we'll talk about it some more later. That it is, the size of that story is, to me, what's interesting. Like, this, how badly they fucked this up is incredible. Like, it's actually incredible. And it's getting but, worse. I would say, but I will say to the credit of the media, they most media hasn't really drifted away yet. No, some people are still focused on it, which is because you know how it I is. Think, I think local media did a pretty good job. I actually think CNN has done a pretty good job. Yeah, they have. They actually uh, have. There's yeah. some. There's some national media where they come in and they're looking for a sensational story, so they right. find like the second cousin or something and pay him a thousand dollars to give him some wacky quote. Right. Um, but I think that the media actually handled it pretty well, and they're holding people to account. Yeah. I think it's important with all these shootings and all this terrible stuff that Mike still watches Quincy every week. Absolutely. That's what's, that's what's really That's important. America. Yeah, there's no shootings really back then. No. <laughs> no. Quincy could have been on the site for this. Well, famously, uh, episode one, Quincy mm -hmm. goes to talk to Lieutenant Monahan during a shooting. Monahan has to take a break from the that shooting. It's true. It's one of the greatest scenes in television history. That is true. <laughs> it is famously. You, you are right about yes. that. Hello. Bye, Mike Dodd. That is where you find Hey, go. Hey, you. by the way, go to mainwire.com. Go subscribe right now on Twitter. I have. And Ryan Whitney was touting the size and growth. Yeah, he yesterday. was impressed. Yes. Impressive growth. Yes. yes. It's the same guy that reads Muttstack religiously. <laughs> nobody, nobody <laughs> believes, follows his picks. Nobody, yeah. believes <laughs> Come on. nobody believes that. Hello. I got a question for Gus. Shoot. Uh, do you like Imagine Dragons? <laughs> yes, I love Imagine Dragons. <sighs> Imagine yeah. dragging these balls across your face. Yeah, we've heard <laughs> that, that one. That's, that's, that's not We've heard that one. Yeah. Jeez, I just saw Barstool put up. Dozen trivia shirts. The Bad Boys team, which is Dan's team. Uh, Frank's team. The Experts team, Brandon's team. Team ZD, Dave's team, and the Booze Ponies. The champions are not represented with t-shirts. Wow. What? How can that be? Save hmm. that. That was pretty good. What? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm in disbelief. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's insulting. It's insulting. We're the champions. There has it. to be some, maybe you're, it's going to be released separately. You know, like I don't its know. own. Yeah, they just don't think we, maybe only the fans will drive that merch. Maybe That's make our message. own. Huh? Make our own. No, I don't want to do that. Hey, I didn't but understand. Just like a big fuck you one. What was the Jeff D. Lowe Stallone video? Who is Stallone? <laughs> he, hired some, he hired some guy, some actor to do it. Oh, just totally right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is I thought, this? I, that was my issue, too. I was like, is, he, is it somebody we know? I was confused. I was like, is I was, I thought, was is Stallone on Cameo? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Feels like he's not that low yet. He went for it, though, as opposed to the other guys who are like, hey, man, he's, he's like, bullshit aside. Like, you're my brother. So I'm, like, eh, I'm not dead yeah. yet. 
I will die in my 50s. So I'm more convinced of that every day. I'm, I'm deep in my oh, 50s already. Yeah. Do Shot. that to us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not, maybe not by my own hand. I'm just saying this is life. Right. This is life. Hello. Hey, Coleman, I, I know you're a avid non-jerker, but... Yeah, what, what, call call, call, uh, call yeah. one second, call. I'll let you ask the question. I will say, Mike, to Coleman's... It's interesting, the Coleman category is a lot of callers are, are asking Coleman questions, which I find interesting. How do you mean? Like, Coleman gets a lot of questions. And he's not that, like... For somebody who's not... Not particularly interesting. Maybe well, that's why people want to learn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's new to it. So people yeah. are actually asking him... They've almost moved away from Gus. People are interested in Coleman. Yeah, because he's sort of this blank... Thing, I think. Right. Yeah. Whereas yeah. I think people know what they've got with Gus. Maybe. Right. Right. Yeah. Like Coleman does not masturbate. If you masturbate in your new apartment yet. No. That's amazing to me. He's a young guy. A young no, I guy. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, caller. I'm sorry. Probably inappropriate to ask a guy who works for me that question, Steve. He's saving up a seed, man. It's no, not November. That's right. Oh, it's what? No, not November. Is that a oh. thing? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. You don't masturbate in November? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a big thing. What, is it, what does that do? <laughs> it's a big thing. Oh, it teaches you self control. Oh, but, but like, what's for? Is it like for charity? Is like like the <laughs> that's like, like is like the, that's no shave. No shave the, is for charity. That's what I mean. Like, what's the point of it? Cole might think might be all like, out for Cole might be like Mel Gibson's dad. He's like one of those crazy Christian, <laughs> <laughs> crazy Catholic one. Opus Day. <laughs> he goes and went like Latin. Doesn't and stuff. play the Holocaust. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm <laughs> technically biliterate in Latin. Really? Yes. I, I, have, took, uh, I took Latin. I have so an nice. award or something. Suck at it. Yeah. If you gave me a Latin quiz right now, I'd get zero out of ten. I'm I really know, not great at it, to friend. be honest. That's true. What's up? I'm really not great at it, to be honest. No. But when I do it was see, a Catholic score, right? Yeah, no. uh, NBC. Yeah, yeah. I figured it would be, you know, an easy way for language in high school, and it was not. I thought it was gonna be good for my SATs. They told yep, me, and they got rid of it for me. Oh, they did. So, like, I went in expecting that, and then it was just gone from the test. Uh, they, I was. It was kind of sold. Well, a. I took it because it was like the easiest language, so they said. But they Latin were also not the easiest. It language. was hard. I, well, that's how no. they that's how they sold yeah, it. I no, guess. no, no. But then they were also like, if you know Latin, you know fifty other languages. And I'm yeah, like, it's not, not really happening for really. me. Really, no, not for me. At least. <laughs> yeah. I think it. I think it's the easiest language because I took it as a senior at Bowdoin, and everything they do give you for homework, it's already been translated. That's true. Uh, that's good all those all those old speeches. Have you been re- have you been I don't, I don't know what kind of translative work you had to do, but I had to translate those. They were what, brutal. What, what, argument, what argument this is? Excuse me, sir. I'm just saying it was very hard. <laughs> talking for, for homework. Yeah, my <laughs> homework I had to translate. Not really it was, like it. Well, yeah, it was yeah. Trans- with oh, you're saying like online? Yes. They had already been I don't think they're giving you like a Cicero tone before. Gotcha. Finally, trans debate. I'm not gonna get in trouble. At last, you have a question for Coleman. I'm sorry, caller. I think he. I think he dropped. Oh, okay. Yeah. No nut. <laughs> no bored with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but just as a foreign concept. <laughs> sure. You're yes, like but... no nut noon maybe. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm an old man, but God, hello. Months a long time. Kirky. What's up? Toronto minute fan here. Hello. First Toronto. time calling. Good. Welcome. I'm a huge listener of the network, and uh, I love the network. I love Menners. I, I, I know all the players. I just don't know some of their origin stories. So I was hoping I could call occasionally and you could help me out with some of the uh, some of the players' origin stories. And the first one being BA. Where did sure. the origin come from? Uh, no, I have no interest in no, that. No, we, we, I can tell you. <laughs> I can tell you Wait, BA's, the, BA's or, origin story. It starts with his mother drinking heavily yeah, while she was sure. pregnant. Well, no, that's not what it was. The mother was 15, 14, 15 years old, and she was sleeping, and her uncle went to the bedroom <laughs> and, and mutilated, while he was drunk, and mutilated her, and then good BA Lord. was born. I like BA, but I'm just saying this is his origin story. He's a nice guy. He's turned out to be a good minifan. Has anyone ever been more right about a minifan than I am about Menners? No, you have been. You have been <laughs> insistent. Your three, your your four year odyssey is paid off, <laughs> and he has, and he has Mike. Some twenty two hours to officially apologize. I was going to eight o'clock the, tonight. No apology. Has he has he taken any uh, stance on Twitter? Like I will not apologize. He had some. Well, he he's doing a live stream that he says his sorry in parentheses show. Well, if it's a joke, oh. he's, he's gone. Like he's gone. The next day we start over. It's not. I mean, I don't care. But yeah. I have all the logins and everything now. Okay, good. So we, we'll see if he apologizes. You maybe, know, maybe somebody brought somebody some of the fan brought a good point. This guy went on and was trashing our one of our shows on the main network on the Kirk Minute. Can't have that. Can't have it. I mean, I think it's here to for the, that. I think it's to the point now where uh, you just need to declare war on Australia. Yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, we can we can like, nuke them. Uh, all of all the kangaroos done. 
What'd you say? I'm a kangaroo guy, though. Well, hey, listen. There's, there's always going to be says, casualties of war. Yeah. Fuck, no, fuck, fuck kangaroos. No. I, saw, I saw a video the a other video? day. It, the, the kangaroo's trying to drown that fucking oh, dog? No, no, no. I, no I stand by it. He was fucking that dog. He was raping Ooh, that dog. Yeah. He definitely Lord. was. That could have been, been Ziggy. I would love to go to fucking <laughs> Australia and punch a kangaroo. Oh, we can on. make that happen. I don't think you'd win that. I don't think I'd win that either. They're pretty jacked. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You shoot him or no? Shoot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Would you, <laughs> where, where would you shoot the kangaroo? In the chest. In the pouch. Oh, don't say the pouch. Well, you always go for the chest. <laughs> Why not the pouch, Coleman? What's the, you gotta get one. the Joey. <laughs> then you kill the baby. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta go. If you're gonna go in, you go in. Actually, you know what? No, you you just uh, chest shot for the for the what do they call the adult kangaroo? Kangaroo. Joseph. <laughs> Joseph. It's like five days after. This is five days after my. This is five days after my emotional plea for gun Joseph. control to, to stop in America. Yeah. Steve, finally, I'm not sure they shoot kangaroos one by one. Hello. What? Can I? This got glossed over. Was that the sound you were teasing, Colin? Yeah, that that's the only one I've been able to find on this. No, computer. but you said you made you your, your own, own sound. Oh, I'm saving, saving, saving. You're saving, I guess. Yeah. For Steve, you're doing that one. I guess. By save, I, I just don't have. Oh, for another one. day, you mean? Okay, yes, I thought you meant yes. for the next call. That's right, I, I got you. you. Yep. Gotcha. Hello. Hey, question for Mike and question for Steve. Go ahead. Uh, Steve first. Uh, Steve, uh, Mary, fuck, kill, uh, Kathy Carr, Caroline Carr, or Charlotte Carr? Oh, I, think, I don't think he's going to answer that question. I'm just going to guess. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Uh, question for Mike. Yes. Um, just uh, wanted a little peek behind the curtain. Um, where do you get your ideas from? And <laughs> at what age did you first notice your aptitude for comedic analysis? The, okay. the first one was a great Norm MacDonald question. That's true. That's right. Where do you get your ideas from? I saw Norm being, t uh, he was trending yesterday for something. It's the, it's the tweet that is, is so perfect. Oh, the, uh, it was imagine, like, imagine it was if the, ISIS set up a nuclear right, bomb and right. killed that's, 50 million Americans. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> the Muslim backlash. Would right. Be so bad. I saw the something along the lines. with that. Ridiculous vice we, president. We, we Harris. got the office uh, of uh, Islamophobia yeah, now. <laughs> thank God. I was really hoping that. I, where, I, where do you come down, by the way? Are you Hamas, Israel? I'm with Israel. Okay, great. Yeah. Are you or no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, I, I've met with Hamas. Okay. <laughs> they reached out. I would be willing to live show Gaza Strip. We've, we've talked in the past about doing stuff there. We could. We could. I feel like we could probably bridge peace, all of us, if we went there. I feel like there's going to be great space for a huge drive-in movie theater in the in the Gaza Strip. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I didn't think of that. That's Why true. Enormous. Well, is the guy who sold soccer that he'll buy it? Because he's a huge fan. Potentially. I mean, I, th I think real estate might be cheap there. I would think so, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I stand with it. Maybe they could take Gus off our hands, too, while we're there. That's true. <laughs> I can see Gus there. I think it's fascinating that a month ago, Israel-Palestine would have been, like, the go-to answer for a, a, an issue that the average American doesn't understand, and now everyone has a fucking opinion. Right, everyone's an expert, Like, yeah. angrily, if you disagree right. with them, oh my they God. have an opinion. You know, to I'll tell you where it's like, it's insane. We need uh, uh, Van Halen. Bill it's unite true. everyone. A comment, a comment that I swear, it's, it's the poor, most... Poorly aged comment. Driving around with all my reporters, working on a story that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, hasn't really been a lot of uh, Islamic terrorism lately. And we're like, yeah, you know, what? that's true. Tough, tough time for the Islamic terrorists. And then, like a day later, it happens. Was, yeah. That was October sixth. No, no. It sounds like a fun drive. <laughs> it, was, it, was fun, it was a long drive. He was also like, oh, you should yep. be back your carcass, dude. <laughs> now it's. Hey, you know, not as many Muslim terrorists as there used to be. Hmm. Yeah, well, get some traffic here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, hello. So Menor spent uh, and dedicated an entire show criticizing Kirk for not nurturing comics like the and that's the call we get. Just, just think about that for it's a second. It's a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful point caller. Thank you very much. And I like McFuss Daddy now. I, I'm coming around on him. He's a nice guy. But like this, this network thing is fine. It doesn't help our show at all. I'm not saying it to be a dick. It just doesn't. The numbers, they, when we didn't do it for two years, the numbers went up. Here now, it's fine, whatever. If they want to do shows, God bless them. Do all the shows you want. But Menners has, to if he, if he does a bullshit apology tonight, if it's a joke, he's out. No big deal. Thanks I mean, for the help. Just an apology? I mean, I think maybe... Crawling on his knees through a strip mall, live streaming that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll see. Some variation of that. Punch we'll a see. kangaroo. Out, out, in the middle, out in the middle of a desert. Oh. But I think, no under, water. I think he's under some uh, idea that, like, he holds something over us. Like, we care if he leaves. Like, then people leave. And I don't care if the network disintegrates. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Not really. Like, like I said, if people are having fun doing the shows, have fun doing the shows. But it doesn't, it doesn't do with our show. It doesn't add or it's nothing. 
What if you never get to know the most attractive male man? That's an issue. I would, I would like if. The, would if you it, like him to at least tell you on his way out? Yes, like this I think was, that's, it was that, Ned Snark. All give me that. Oh no, no, he, <laughs> he was taking number three in that allegedly. Wow. Oh, who's number one? I don't know. I only saw a tweet from uh, I think it was Lauren who uh, shared the news that she got him at number three. Oh wow! So it's only guys on the list. Only guys. Can you on do the one list. of girls for us since you're the list guy? Yeah. Who's the most attractive? Ah, give me the lady minifan list. The li- top. Well, so it would be Mount Rushmore of Lady Minna fans? Yeah, not in terms of being good in the George show. Joe, I'm just saying once you want to stick that fucking dick in. <laughs> Get that dick away. <laughs> I'm calling this all nut yeah. November, baby. Who would you like licking that asshole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. First, I go Robinson B&B's one. Okay. Sure. Uh, two. <laughs> Naturally, <laughs> of course. <laughs> two will go Allison T. Boston. Okay. Three okay. Lauren. Minifan okay. Laura. And then four. These are rolling off the tongue rather quick. <laughs> yeah, this is like you've given some thought. Easiest like, list, this is the easiest list, list he's ever had. <laughs> well, there's only like ten people to choose from. So I, I'll tell you, there's a lot of women at these live shows. I, I'm just saying. I think that's that's now a misnomer. I, sure. I actually don't think that's fair. Is Julie on your list anywhere? Julie, I, I, she could slide in at number four. I'll let, yeah, Julie will go number four. Well, Pelletier's wife. No, she, <laughs> okay. I mean, if I've won the dress more than her, then she can't be on the list. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. And gig. <laughs> and gig, yeah. Come gig. to five. Yes. I have what I suspect number to be five, a Julie update, by the way. Number five, just a lady. <laughs> <laughs> All of you at home. All of you. <laughs> a Julie update. Well, no, I don't know that this is Julie. Justin called me the other oh, day, and he no. goes, we're good with calls. He so. goes, hey, just so you know, he's like, I'm not, this person asked me not, no one asked me to do this, oh boy. <laughs> but if you do a Friends episode or a Matthew Perry episode, you know who I think would be great is Julie. <laughs> really? You know, I'm glad you brought that up because did, did the toxicology come back on Perry? Like mm, no drugs? No, I didn't see it. Says, I saw, it I saw, says no fentanyl, no methamphetamine. No drugs. No drugs at all. No drugs in the None. system. That's they're they're investigating it as a homicide. Wrong. Really? That's what I. That's what I saw on Twitter. Homicide? No, I would have seen that. Just, I've seen the no drugs. But well, the what wild right wing site had that? <laughs> Let me well, see. well, when you realize ever, that the other members of well, Friends are on asked. Epstein's <laughs> client list, have you ever heard about Rachel Chandler? <laughs> about what? Rachel Chandler, who supposedly that? was the uh, pseudonym of someone who recruited girls for uh, Epstein. Wow, Chandler Bing. It all ties oh together. Oh my god! Wasn't he with Rachel on the show? Am I wrong? Is no, I not, no, that's silly. Ross was with Rachel. And he was, which he ones, was, he which was Chandler was with Monica. And Monica's uh, Courtney Cox. Correct. Yes. And Chandler was making uh, Matthew Perry was making Facebook posts or Instagram posts about like Hope him no being one kills Batman. me today. About what? About uh, comparing himself to Batman and touting this tell all book that he was coming out with. Yeah, the book so came out. Yeah, his book, book came, out. came out. Oh, it did? It came out like a year and a half ago. Well, the conspiracy theory. It could still be a conspiracy <laughs> It is weird. It is weird that he doesn't, didn't have any drugs in the system, though. I, I like when Steve brings up these conversations he's having with these workers of his in the car now. This is also part of it. <laughs> Got your lunch pail, boys? <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Hmm. I don't know who the best-looking male men fans are. Everyone says Ned Snark, of course. I wouldn't know, Mike. I'm not yeah, seeing I don't know. Handsome I, faces are the most. Ned I'm not Snark, gonna... I know because because it was a sure, thing at one time. I don't idea. know who else is in the conversation. Even really. I wouldn't even know. Yeah, Kevin from Bristol. One would almost say it'd be more interesting if the people like did about people on the show because people know, everyone knows who they are. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It feels like we, it might... can't, we can't think of a second person. Yeah, I'm, I don't mean to tell them how to do their job. God knows they're far more successful than I am at this. But I'm just, I, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to think back to the cornhole tournament, and I'm like. Oh. Not great, huh? Yeah, I, I, I walk around these crowds. I'm not seeing much. I'm sure there's a few. Who's better looking, Steve? Coleman or Gus? Uh, oh, really? I would assume, obviously, Coleman. Yeah, Coleman. I guess I got to go Coleman. I think so. Okay. Gus is not bad looking until he opens his mouth and that massive, like that. Yeah, that, it's just a, it's a different, <laughs> it's a different just thing. just motions at his face. Yeah, yeah the thing. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, anything else, boys? Uh, tomorrow, I would like to just run through some merch ideas uh, because that would probably be the best <sighs> date to really What's that face put them all together for Black Friday. <laughs> what? It's a what? great plan, Coleman. <laughs> well, no, I'm saying if, Why anyone, are you that face? if anyone wants to send some in sure, so that we can sure, present yeah. them tomorrow, I'd like to have a collective. You have know, that face decision. like I, I'm going to be <laughs> a, a problem with that. No, you guys are still in the honeymoon phase. And you, you, you seem like you're doing better. What do you mean? You seem like you're... Uh, more mellow. Well, I'm older taking, now. I'm not going to... Yeah. And these guys are not... They're new, so they're younger, too. Well, Coleman is. Gus is like 
sneaky older. He's in his 30s, right? 33. Yeah. He's, he's older than me. It's crazy. Steve's with all, with all you've accomplished, Mike, he's older than you. I know. I thought, <laughs> I thought, I thought Jerry was it like in his 40s. Who? Jerry Kelly? No, no. J- uh, Jerry. Jersey Jerry. Jer- Jersey Jerry. I was saying this. I thought he was, oh, I thought like he was young, a younger guy. No, he's, when you see him in person, he's not. He looks okay. younger. How old is he? Is it, he's in like crack years? He's 22. <laughs> <laughs> My God. He's 30, I think, right? No? That's about what I would have guessed. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if he's even 30 yet. I thought he was like 28, 29. Well, he, shaved, he shaved recently. He looks younger. It's like Montante. Like Montante, when he shaved, looked younger, I thought, when he got rid of that beard. But no, I think uh, Coleman looking for uh, Minifans to come up with t-shirt ideas. It's great. Great work. You don't see any issue with that? No, though? just get the Minifans to do your work. That's true. You've done, you, that's true. you did in the past. Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah, my it, was my go, it was my go-to move. Yeah, I have no brain for that, to be clear. So I, you, you guys are, go for it. I, I'm, I'm going to be no help with it. But that. that's what, with Coleman, it's literally, there might be suggestions that he doesn't even, isn't aware of For yet. sure. Not <laughs> just that, I'd like to hear from the people who are <clears throat> literally buying them. Yeah. You know, like, well, if it's an idea someone has that other people might like, like, yeah, I'll, I'll rather just, than me just throwing something out into I'm the I'm open ether, to them. You know? Yeah, I, I don't, I guess I have a terrible brain for that stuff. So you're better off doing that than asking me because I have no, I could look at two shirts and be like, that seems fine and it'd be terrible. So I suck at that. Gus, you have any ideas for that? Uh, we have the trunk shirt with a family photo with trunk underneath, and okay. then someone did submit another trunk photo. Uh, I wanted to do something with. I like the, the idea of trunk seltzer shirts. That's, like, like that's beer exactly shirt. what the yeah. logo is. Okay, good. good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I like the uh, some of the throwback stuff. Uh, the KMS uh, Letterman font. If we're able to do that, I'd like. Okay. Um, Bring back the hat Mike wears with like the triangle looking one. That's, that's a good hat. Fan. Yeah, that was a good hat. Some hat. people were saying, <laughs> I, I know um, with foreplay and, and golf merch, it's kind of tough, but people were suggesting maybe just like uh, like uh, club heads. Part yeah. of cover. Part yeah, of I'm cover. trying to figure out how to do that without those guys. I haven't talked to Riggs about it, mm-hmm. you know, but like I'm not opposed to doing that. Even golf shirts next year, like one, if we do one time, I think yeah. those well, pe- sell well. People have wanted KMS golf shirts forever, since right. the very beginning, but right. they're, they were always like, yeah, we can do it. It's just going to be $65. I think foreplay stuff is expensive. Stays golf stuff's expensive, but they they sell. And for those, sh- those are nice shirts. Yeah, they seen, are. Like the quality and shit. Yeah, I wear them. They're they yeah. no, they're nice for sure. Uh, all right, simplysafe.com, of course. S i m p l i s a f e dot com slash kirk k i r k. Twenty four seven pressure monitoring for less than a dollar a day. Have your house completely, totally secured. The best home security system of twenty twenty three by U S News and World Report. Uh, again, you want to be, you want to have your home protected. You want to have it safe. You just go to Simply Safe. They'll take care of it for you. Even I could set it up. It's that simple. SimplySafe.com slash Kirk. You get ten percent off, or rather, I'm sorry, forty percent off any new system with a fast protect plan. S I M P L I Safe dot com slash Kirk. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Forty uh, percent off any new system with a fast protect plan for a limited time. Get moving on that right now. We thank them. We thank Milton's. We're going to shortly. Uh, exci- I mean, it's exciting. When was the last time you saw Mutt? Oh, uh, Plymouth. Yes. Yeah. It's always exciting. First and last, isn't it? It's it the first time you ever met him? Yep. Oh, wow. I'm excited to see the, the Steve Mutt Bill from Milton's chemistry. Oof. A fun watch, and I'm excited to see it again. It's going to be off the charts. A clash of yes. two Boston radio titans. Can you, yes. believe, can you believe you were not invited to uh, Warthog's wedding? <laughs> Stings. Yeah, man, it hurts. It hurts us all. I wasn't invited. I would love to have gone. We did hold a Steve sure, uh, celebration I'm for sure his, the his wife, great work. The wife would have uh, very much appreciated you there. Yeah. Ever. I mean, that's not lasting that wedding. I can't imagine. Nah, he's there already was a looking, lot of laughs. He, he called me about divorce lawyers already. Did Warhog write his own vows? Please say yes. No, I wish. Oh, Ian. <laughs> I uh, wish. How was the uh, maid of honor speech? <laughs> the maid of honor speech? It was fun. Who was that? Why do you ask that? Oh, I'm just, I'm just some it seems like a funny group friends. of friends. Oh, yeah. It seems like a great. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, well, it, it, it was. I was very surprised. It was, uh, yeah. Those. They're the more boring of their friend groups, I would say. Those What's two. that? The Warthogs. Oh, really? The yeah, two yeah, stiffs? Yeah. yeah. Well, you always have to have that. <laughs> yeah. Is there cross pollination with the groups or no? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We all. Oh, you mean is there naturally? No, I no. don't know any of them. Okay. A- until this weekend. Every every group needs their straight man, right? That's right. That's true. Yeah, but she was it's, she was essentially lobotomized, right? Like that Kennedy kid. I mean, she was institutionalized. <laughs> Poor Rosemary. Most of her, I, don't know, yeah. I don't know about any of that. For most of her youth, right? I don't think that, so. Oh, really? I don't know much about her past. I thought it was like an abortion that survived, is what Warthog told me in Plymouth. Is that, oh, then he he would know better than me. He was yeah. quite verbose about it. <laughs> he, I was said that. he was very. <laughs> by the way, RFK Jr. is coming to Maine. To campaign? Yeah. Why did like, that inspire that? Like at a, like a chance that to. Kennedy kid who got lobotomized. I think you were saying Robert was That was her aunt. That was his aunt, right? I don't know the family tree. Well, that would be that was that was one of the Kennedy kids. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Been, yeah. yeah. If he legitimately was president for whatever reason, I don't know how long I could handle the voice. 
That'd be tough. It'd be, it would be tough. Imagine like there's a tragedy the big and moment, he has to address. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh. do, do, do other disabilities bother you? No, you are, to, you, are you, are you, you, frustra- are you frustrated them. with Mike? No. <laughs> yes. You don't have to listen to I'm me not, not see them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing it right now. Gus just hates blind people. That voice would be tough. Oh, but he's not going to win, obviously. So, but it could be, He could be a he's, shit stir. He's, he's putting up Perot numbers. And remember, remember Perot announced on Larry King initially? He was in winning in the national election. He was in like the 30s. Like he was... Yeah. But he could be a spoiler. It depends on what he does. He's going to run as an independent and fuck things up. I don't know. I mean... It, if we had fair elections, it might be an interesting question, but <laughs> no, sure, sure. is like Cheryl Hines, like all in with it, with him or no? She's done appearance. She's been on podcasts with him. Really? So, yeah. Do you I think see. he makes his way onto curb this season as a, uh, as a stunt? For I him? wouldn't count it out. Yeah. I know Larry David's kind of snapped, but I wouldn't count it out. Yeah. Interesting. I, I could, I could maybe see that, but she's never on, right? She's on again. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I, I really didn't watch much last season, but Neither did I. I think she, she has still been. Is. There was a storyline with her and Ted Danson. I, I remember, remember that, but that was yeah. a few years ago, right? But the way they do it, it was only two seasons ago. Oh, really? Jesus Christ. Is he doing one more season? Is that what he's saying? As far as I know, yeah. he definitely is. I don't know when it's coming out. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. All right. So, all right. right. So, tomorrow, boy, I mean, ready. Patrick Ford, we have guaranteed for tomorrow, folks. I mean, we're going to end this. That's just what's locked in. Yeah. I mean, we're going to end this week big time. (laughs) Patrick Ford is is guaranteed going to be here, right? Absolute chills. Patrick Ford confirmed, I got a DM this morning. Ticket guy Kyle says he's off. Off what? Uh, he's off tomorrow, so he would be available. <laughs> he's off work. <laughs> Great. Yeah. And I, from that sound, sounds like he's not going to be on the show. Kyle's okay. available, just so you know. Okay. Anybody else? Um, I thought I. That sounds like a perfectly terrible episode of, of, of podcasting. I don't want to do yeah, that. You always myself. say that and it works, though. Yeah, I, I can't do that to myself. Oh, we just got a DM. Uh, Dave Chappelle's actually off <laughs> tomorrow. He's, he's willing I, to come in. He's off tomorrow. Jesus. Ugh. Patrick Ford is I, Dr. What? Dr. Ford. Dr. Ford. Dr. Ford. Sure, sure. Right. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, well, we'll see how that goes. I'm sure we'll have somebody here with uh, Patrick. So we go off to Milton's right now with the boys. How long ago did Mutt start his sojourn into Milton's? Well, remember, it's not Chestnut Hill. It's only Burlington. So it only takes, you know, I would say <laughs> he probably left two, two and a half hours ago. Okay, good. Yeah. Chill, chill. Good. Hopefully yeah. he'll so, be there when yeah. we get there. My, the best point I made was, like, you drive an hour to go to the fucking gym. Yeah. Like, what are you, what are you fucking talking about? Like, he just didn't, everything, that, that, a couple people were like, hey, you were too mean to him. And I was like, no, I was not. He was being well, a Well, generally, baby. you are too mean to him. As a friend, he's a friend of yours. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <Not> an enemy. <laughs> the people were tweeting me, uh, Coleman, New Jersey. Does brick mean something in New Jersey? Yeah, that's my town. No, but is that mean, is it like a phrase like that's brick? Oh, like it's brick outside. Like what it's is, cold. It's cold, cold outside. Cold is brick. Yeah. Is that, that's exclusive to New Jersey. I've only I think really I've heard, heard it in Jersey, I guess. I've never heard it. So it's, oh, like I right now, New Jersey. Right now, it's brick outside. It's brick outside. Yeah, okay, I got you. Why do you hate New Jersey, Steve? Uh, I just says m- says mostly. says his uh, says his intern as he's driving the car slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate New Jersey? Mostly just the people and the culture. But I'm also I'm gonna have to be in New Jersey on Saturday. Where in uh, Jersey? Why wedding? Uh, Exotica? Uh, no, I'm going to the Ohio State <laughs> Rutgers football game. What is it with you and these football games you're going to lately? Is it's there just, some big I, fun guy? No, a bunch, bunch of my friends like to actually enjoy the football games, and so if you want to get, did you go to a BC the, game recently? I did. Yeah. Which one? Uh, BC Florida State. That was a oh, that was game. a great game. I was there as well. I almost won that game. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. So you're you're going to what? Rutgers and who? Uh, Ohio State. It's gonna be a bloodbath, isn't it? Oh, probably. I'm wearing a Rutgers shirt underneath right now. Fantastic. <laughs> what, what, why are you going to that? Are you? Uh, just to hang out with friends. A little road trip. Oh, that sounds dreadful, though. That's all big, dr- big drive. It is. It huh. is. Okay. Well, there you go. Hang out with the boys. Yep. Okay, good. All right. Uh, mainwire.com, of course. Buymike.net. Go subscribe right now. Go subscribe to the Thank YouTube you. as well, which is by my project. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Thank you. Go subscribe to that. Uh, boys, we're back tomorrow? Yes. Yes. All right. We'll see you then. Goodbye.